Hi. Yeah, no, my nose hurts. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Appa apparently, like, excessively blowing your nose can, can make the nostril sore. And it was like, well, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just, like, deal with, with having a... God damn it, Blink-182. <laughs> am I supposed to just deal with having, like, a snotty nose? That's gross. It's awful, because I can take antihistamines, but antihistamines dry out my eyes. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Gordon, thank you for the 18 months. Thank you, thank you. Da da da. Da 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 Commiserating Say it ain't so I will not go Turn the lights on Wait, off! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take an anti-history and deal with the dry eyes, whatever Good morning, I love Limu. Do you have any dodgy executables for me to download today? Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> Always let me know she cares. Have I played PL yet? No. No, I haven't. I was gonna basically do almost all of the, the main quest before doing Phantom Liberty. No, no. Hi, Larksa! How are you? Give you shout out. Ah. Zeph, thank you for the seven months. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, yeah, I've I've not done anything like new with Cyberpunk, just the uh, original content. I absolutely love that the spout can uh, like so there's there's this uh, way to capture V2C. I think it's called Sprout or Spout, I don't remember. Um and it doesn't capture any of the overlay for it, so I can adjust things without you guys seeing. <gasps> I'm looking into... I'm looking at Limu's insides right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. <laughs> Micromanage, thank you for the eight months. Thank you, thank you. Hold on. Mm, my nose hurty. Oh. Oops. <laughs> like this, I think? No, I get cut off if I do it that far. If I go like that. Yeah. I'm gonna listen. What's girl boss music? <laughs> what qualifies as girl boss music to you? Be shrimp fresh? Pink? You know, I was a huge fan of pink growing up. <laughs> Let's find a good pink song. I like I like some of her older stuff more. Oh, she had a no, I didn't mean to click that album. She had an album out this year? Huh. I've been listening in a while. Dude, she has so many albums. That's actually kind of crazy. Okay, let's listen. Listen to old school girl boss songs. When was this from? This is from two thousand and one. <laughs> uh. Let's do... <laughs> Warrenov, thank you for the 11 months. And Paul Jarvis, thank you for the 28 months. And Nami, thank you for the 14 months. Thank you, thank you. 
We girl bossing now. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I get really sick and tired of boys up in my face. Pick up lines like what your sign will get you any place. When me and all my girls go walking down the street, seems we can't go anywhere without a car that goes beep beep. <laughs> Of loving unconditionally. Yes, sir. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, ladies. <laughs> Sue, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you, thank you. I hope I had a nice day off. God, I wish. I spent most of it on a train. <laughs> Fro, thank you so much for the 18 months. Thank you, thank you. No, no, no. I was training. No, I was on a train. <laughs> Who made my VTuber model and do they have tutorials? Uh, my model was drawn by Yenko and uh, rigged by Celia. Selecta, thank you for the 16 months. I will try very hard not to die. Captain Funky, thank you for the 23 months. Thank you, thank you. I'm starting to believe you're deliberately misunderstanding what I'm saying here. Easy squeezy. No freebies in the limousine. That's not what it's about. Give it up. He won't call you. Respect is just a minimum. Come on, girl. Let's get you some. <laughs> Who was I running a train on? What? <laughs> <laughs> this the, the, the my my Saturday night got incredibly distorted very quickly apparently. <laughs> oh god, the alien stuff? Gee, I, I swear the alerts got me more than the actual alien did. <laughs> it was kind of, it was kind of crazy. Which one? Hmm. Hmm. There's a lot of depressing songs in this album actually. This one's not depressing. Do you remember how played this song was? Oh, actually, if I say that, people will be like, No limes, I wasn't born then. <laughs> so, never mind. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Kinan, thank you for the 77 months. Thank you, thank you. Coming up, so you better get this party started. Get this party started on a Saturday night. It was overplayed, yes. <laughs> This song came out in 2001. Go time and rings. I can go for miles if you know what I mean. <laughs> First song at every party for the next five years. <laughs> yeah. I was too young to be going to parties in 2001, but I bet. Pink still makes music. She actually had an album out this year. Let's see. She had an album 2023, 2021, 
da 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 I actually haven't listened to her recent stuff. <laughs> Let's see, what's the most recent song that I listened to from her? Uh... 2017, I remember a couple of songs from there. Or one song from there, actually. <laughs> ah, you know, thank you for gifting seven subs! Thank you, thank you! Da, 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 da. Who's this artist? This is Pink. It's and it's spelled P exclamation mark N K. <laughs> yeah, it seems like she's still decently popular. Her stuff from the most recent album has like two hundred million plays. Do you want to see what that sounds like? Because I have no idea. Let's play one of them. What does this sound like? <laughs> she sounds exactly the same. That's impressive. It's like 22 years later and she sounds the same. <laughs> Gelfian, thank you for gifting a sub. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very, very much. My dancing hamster? Oh. <laughs> I'm glad you like the emote. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah. My ferret. <laughs> yeah, it sounds about the same. I am not a cabbage VTuber, excuse me? <laughs> what? <laughs> cabbage patch streamer? No! My head looks cabbagey. Your face looks cabbagey. I actually, I, I'm very, I'm very, I'm very pleased. I got new, I got new um, eyebrow pencil in like a new color and it's pretty. I like it. I had to get like a warmer color because when my hair is red, having like super dark, cold colored eyebrows looks really weird. <laughs> You draw on your eyebrows? No, of course not. But, like, 99% of people using makeup will fill in their eyebrows a little bit because it's nice to define the shape. <laughs> unless, unless you think that people with super defined, incredibly neat brows are all, like, entirely natural with no makeup, in which case I have, I have, I have a bridge to sell you. <laughs> when did eyebrow styling I mean styling your eyebrows has been popular for decades like eyebrow the the trend with eyebrows changes like in the 2000s and yeah I think like late 90s early 2000s incredibly thin eyebrows are in right now thick eyebrows are in <laughs> no eyebrows? I mean, I think for like a year, dyeing your eyebrows blonde was in, which was so bizarre to me. Like, oh, wait, like now we all look like we have no eyebrows. Great. 
I never did that because that sounded terrible. <laughs> yeah, if you want to see like the definition of eyebrow trends, go look at like the first and second mommy, 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 mommy movies, mummy movies. <laughs> Accidental American. Uh, mommy movies. I love mommy movies. Uh, no. Mo mommy movies. And go look at, uh, Evie. In the first movie, she has, like, super thin eyebrows. And then in the second one, they're, like, much thicker. I'm gonna go find her. Hold on. Evelyn the mummy. Things have been okay for me, except that I'm a zombie now. Really wish you'd let us in. Da -da 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 -da. Here's an FYI. You're all gonna die screaming. But yeah, so this is this is Evelyn. In the first mummy movie. <laughs> Being real careful to enunciate that correctly now. So this is her in the first movie. Look how fucking thin her eyebrows are. <laughs> like, holy shit. <laughs> and then in the second movie, the passage of time and the changing of trends means that she looks like this. Those eyebrows are so much better. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 There was a filter on TikTok that gave people 90s brows and people were like, wow, this looks good. Oh, Christ, no. No, never. Even, even if it got incredibly popular again, I would never, ever pluck my brows like that. Half the time they don't fucking grow back and you're just stuck with it forever. <laughs> Goose Garland, thank you for the 13 months. Thank you, thank you. Da, 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 da. But yeah, she looked like younger in the second movie because because the eyebrows were so much better. Will I be streaming on Halloween? What day is Halloween this year? Tuesday, yes, I will. Neither of those brow styles were appropriate for any of the time periods portrayed in the mommy films. <laughs> she, this, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not saying that they were appropriate for the time periods portrayed. She did not get period accurate eyebrows. I'm saying <laughs> that when the first mu mummy movie was filmed, in real life, thin brows were popular. And then when the second mummy movie was filmed, in real life, thicker brows were popular. <laughs> <laughs> bucks, bucks, bucks! Thank you for the eleven months. Thank you, thank you. Movies aren't real life. I'm, I'm gonna ban every single one of you. <laughs> da 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 da. da. Let's, yes, let's talk about cup sizes and eyebrows, the most exciting of streams. <laughs> and slugging! Yes! But yeah, my hair... My, I got my hair done yesterday, and it took for... Ever. It took it took like four hours. <laughs> What's slugging? When you put a layer of Vaseline over your skincare to lock in moisture because it's an occlusive. You should go ask Mike the same question. Mike will have exactly the same answer? I think so, yeah.
Was that Weezer? No, that was Jonathan Colton. I want to play Left 4 Dead too. I'm pretty sure I modded it not that long ago. <clears throat> so that I could, I could do something, and then I just completely forgot that I was going to do something. Was it worth it? I I think so, but I'm very tired. Have I talked to Mike since the pumpkin in the bathtub? I don't think so. <laughs> Mm. Was Mike okay? I don't know. I just said I haven't spoken to him since. Not not because I don't want to speak to him. It's just coincidentally I haven't spoken to him. I'm not avoiding him because of his weird pumpkin thing. <laughs> Hold on. I got... I got cool, cool original flavored corn chips. How? Would you like one? <laughs> You're missing quite a bit of context. It's okay. The context doesn't make it better. It, it, like, genuinely, I'm not even kidding. The context probably makes it worse. What's the song? Um, Let Go. <laughs> and so let go, let go. <clears throat> I can't remember. Is this Imogen Heap as a solo act, or was this when they were like in a band thing? How? Mike made pumpkin seeds? That's a horrible descriptor, and I don't like it. Please don't use it again. <laughs> did I get my Bunnard plushie? I did. I want I wanted to be the first, but I was I was on my phone at the time with flaky internet. Because I wasn't at home, so I think I was at least top 50. You got eighth? How do you know? You don't it doesn't tell you until after the campaign. Tony Toes, thank you for the 84 months. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's actually really scary. <laughs> the passage of time, no! But yeah, as you can tell, I might be getting slightly sick because my voice is going and my nose hurty and I have a headache. I left the house. It goes from the bottom up. What do you mean? <clears throat> I left the house and immediately got sick. <laughs> What are we playing today? Alan Wake! The breakdown... <laughs> so the names on the list start from the bottom. Oh! Time to go and creep. I think I just saw myself. Oh, look, 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 there I am. 
Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18! I honestly, I am reasonably pleased with that, considering, like, when the counter stopped, the page wouldn't refresh for me, so I got slowed way down. <laughs> da -da -da. I'm gonna give this one next to Yanko on her drawing? <gasps> I'm gonna go look. I'm gonna look at Yonko's drawing. Ooh! But how will I know which bunner it is me? <gasps> Hi, Hakuling! Give Hakuling shout out! <laughs> <laughs> She's putting a number on them? Maybe I can beg her to put a slice of lime on mine. <laughs> what is this song? This is Our Friends Electric by Gary Newman. It's the live version, yeah. Specifically, uh, live at Shepherd's Bush Empire. It, it's my favorite version. Da, 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 da. No, no. She said you make them different. Hold on, I'm going. I'm going to crash her stream. <laughs> Wait, is she playing music? Hey, chat, is she playing music? Do I need to put this on Firefox? She is? Okay, hold on. Am I logged in on Firefox? I didn't ignore Hacker! I said hi to Hacker and gave her a shout out! The fuck? <laughs> what do you mean I ignored Hackerling? I, I literally said hi, Hackerling! Let me give you a shout out! Fucking one guy! If you're not paying attention, you can't tell me what I did and didn't do, bitch! <laughs> Whatever. Okay, hold on, hold on. I gotta go attention seek. Give me a second, I'm attention seeking. Hello! Beloved Yenko, I am told that we can request things on our bunnards. I would like to request my bunnard be wearing a lime. Thank you. <laughs> a slice of lime on its head. Thank you. And then I put an emoji. Which 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 one shall I put? Okay, bye. I am restreaming you. Please don't DMCA me. I love you, Yanko. <laughs> this pleases me. Anyway, you should go check out Yanko's stream too. Shout out Yanko. Z. Because she's not Yanko in here, she's Yanko's. <laughs> buy Yanko's plushie, yes. Go buy her plushie so she can like can have a, a lemon and 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 a bunner together. <laughs> 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 Should 
Chatter too busy tabbed out to cock porn to hear the hacker shout out. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, if you if you can't multitask properly, don't you get up my ass. Whatever. <laughs> Link to the tweet. Let me go find it. Alfred loves soup. Thank you for the 13 months. Thank you. Thank you. She asked how I was and I'm already gone. I said goodbye. <laughs> I didn't ghost. Here you go. And here's the link. I gotta stop fucking, like, using the share function because it changes all the URLs to x.com and that's gross. Take it, boy! Thank you, sir! Oh, now I gotta go look for Mountain Dew's videos. Hold on. <laughs> mm, uh oh, ad blockers are not allowed on YouTube. Video playback will be blocked unless YouTube is allow listed. Close window. What's this music from? <laughs> uh, do you mean originally? <laughs> this is Corridors of Dark Home, yeah. Ace Master, thank you for the 29 months. Thank you, thank you. I like I like the the words that keep like fl uh, popping up. It's like latex, leather, master. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> e block origin. It works. I get the pop up, but then I can just hit the X after like five seconds or something. I feel like eventually it's gonna stop working. Fluffy Tamamo, thank you so much for the fourteen months. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I've not committed any crimes. What? Da 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 <laughs> I can have a little crime as a treat. I see, I see. I'll keep that in mind. I actually don't remember. Do I have Ublock on? Like, is Ublock the one that I'm using on here? I assume it is. Let's go have a lick. Add ons and themes. It's kind of funny watching the same like uh, arms race happen with YouTube that happened with Twitch like what a year ago now.
You need more Alan Wake? So do I. I hated not being able to stream it yesterday. Yeah, but the funny part is how people thought that YouTube wasn't doing it because YouTube was just inherently nicer than Twitch. It's like, no, no, it's just it'll be a different tech solution. They're absolutely going to do it. YouTube is not your friend. <laughs> Who thought that? When people were mad at Twitch, they were like, I'm moving to YouTube like it was any fucking better. <laughs> Speaking of YouTube, I didn't tweet about it because I didn't want to draw their attention to it. But they, they you know how they, they declined my appeal for Mario Wonder? Like, they ad-limited it because they said that it, the content wasn't, like, uh, safe for everybody. So I appealed it because that's bullshit. It's Mario Wonder. <laughs> and they declined the appeal on the grounds that it contained hate speech. Anyway, they ad limited the first Alan Wake, which I thought was fair enough because it contains, you know, corpse penis. Fair, whatever. But <laughs> appealed it anyway for funsies. <laughs> and they said it's suitable for all advertisers. <laughs> it's literally a penis within the first like five minutes and then repeatedly for the next two hours. <laughs> it was very funny. But whatever. <laughs> no, I'm not bringing attention to it on Twitter because what they'll do is they'll just add restrict Alan Wake too. <laughs> they won't fix the wonder thing. Yeah, fa famous hate speech streamer, I malicious. I just, I just can't keep my fucking mouth shut. <laughs> All right, what am I looking at on here? Sometimes I think maybe it's like things like, you know, reading out usernames and it doesn't understand what I said. Because I noticed that uh, Guppy and Dragon got, like, censored out on the YouTube captions. So I have no idea what YouTube actually heard, but apparently it wasn't good. <laughs> no, I don't think Luigi's enormous penis is hate speech. Yeah, they caught the dragon. It was Guppy and that sent them off. I don't know why. Go pee on dragon? <laughs> I mean, maybe, but that's still not hate speech. That's weird piss fetish. But at least be accurate in the reasons why you're declining me, YouTube. <laughs> Hi, Catastrophe. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Limeuba says, good to see this. Exactly, Limeuba. I was about to say the painkillers had kicked in because my nose didn't hurt as much, and then I scrunched my nose and it hurt, so never mind. I was um, I was almost excited. I thought I was free, but I was not. Mike could DMCA this. I mean, they probably have a hard time doing it because it's not on the VOD, and also Mike isn't a dick. I think Vinny actually fought pretty hard to try and stop, like, Red Vox stuff from getting auto-muted on Twitch, right? 
Like he wanted it off of their library of auto-mute stuff? Da -da -da. He's got a guy for it? <laughs> Vinny knows a guy. <laughs> Da 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 Every few months he goes onto DMCA list, he has to deal with it. I don't actually know. Do they self-publish? Or is it the publisher just, like, fucking up? I have... Itchy nose. <laughs> itchy nose. <laughs> I love this playlist. <laughs> it, it literally goes Bubblegum KK from Animal Crossing, Outer Wilds, Forgetter by Red Vox, and then At Doom's Gate. <laughs> <laughs> totally, I'm not sure what this one is going for. Who taught the bot French? Probably French people. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is from Redbox's experimental album. I actually forgot how short that actual song is. <laughs> le, 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 le. You know what you should do? You should Google Witcher song that goes le 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 because it comes up with this song, which I think is very funny. Wait, wait, what's your song? Song that goes banana tiger? Oh, it's still for humans. Yeah, that makes sense, because this is silver for monsters. <laughs> I know what you're talking about as well. It goes banana tiger. Yeah, I, I know the song. La 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 la. Lime 2.0 has a dab toggle? She does. Uh, ah. <laughs> Do it again. Um, yeah, I can. I actually don't know where that is. Hold on. What's the song that plays? Hold on. Um. I like this one, I think. I love mods that like change this to fucking random songs. You want the Limon model? Uh, 
I don't want to load in a new model, so I'll use the item. <laughs> Up him here. Oh, I accidentally attached him. <laughs> swing, Limon, swing. No, don't do that. Ah. Are you still attached? No, you're not. Okay, good. <laughs> That means I could put Lemon on my head. Hold on. Wait a second. <laughs> da da da. Put him on my shoulder like a parrot? That's a good idea. Problem is, I would have to remove my my hair from being an attachment point. Because the way that it works is it attaches to, like, the be like the most visible anchor. And that's my hair. Like, so it goes there. <laughs> no, not ball. Not bald. I just have to... You have to go in, like... You can't actually attach things to, uh... The Helge, because I've removed it from being an attachment point. Like, so if I do this... Unless it's reset, of course. No, it's reset. But yeah, I can remove the Helge as an attachment point because it tends to fuck up, uh... Hats. Wait, what happens if I, like, ping this? Oh, it doesn't do anything. Oh, I think he might be attached by his tail. I don't know what he's attached by anymore. <laughs> And put him here. <laughs> but yeah, it's hard to put him on my shoulders because my hair gets in the way. I always used to like it when, like, the tank would fail to spawn in because he got stuck on the geometry somewhere in this segment. <laughs> Yeah, the tank just dies and the music's like, anyway, back into the, the main song. <laughs> when can Lamont hang from the back of my head, but his top is what? Oh. I can maybe... Hold on, let me... That's probably live 2D layering. Uh, Lamont... So that's the live 2D model. Is zero. Da, 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 da. What happens if... Wait, minus one? Okay, yeah, that's where I want it, I think. Yeah, so if I do... <laughs> oh no, this is gonna get annoying trying to scale them. Ah! Okay. I keep accidentally scaling the wrong model, so that oh, okay, is kind of in the way. Oh, the problem is, though, he won't anchor, I don't think. Oh, no, he is. Mm -hmm. The looming Lemon threat. Me. What? <laughs> okay, I don't think he's actually attached. He's floating, but it works, so it's fine. Could I layer him in front of my model? 
over my jacket, but no, no, I can't do that. That's too too much for a, an item, I think. Hi, Hina! Can I sit on Lamont's head? No, that would be weird. <laughs> He would get crushed? What are you trying to say? Da, 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 da. The mom looks like so unintentionally sinister when I smile like too much. She's like, I like how he's peeking. <laughs> he is a small creature, it's true. <laughs> yeah, no, my nose is okay. Apparently I've been blowing my nose too much because allergies. I don't think I don't think the same thing would work on the shoulder because the hair gets in the way. Yeah, and and because he's he's attached again. God damn it! All right. Yeah, so he is actually attaching properly, which is cute. Maybe if I move him to the side slightly, so he's not a hogged. Nope. Too far. Uh-oh. He detached! Limon, no! Go back. Hold there. You blow your nose too much, what does that mean? Just, you know, when you irritate it because you're having to blow your nose a lot. Have you have you never gotten to that point where, like, you're so congested and allergy-ish that it just frigs up your nose? <laughs> You've never been that sick before? Must be nice. Wisp, thank you for the... Er, sorry, Whisper. Thank you for the 11 months. Thank you, thank you. I saw... I saw a post on, like, the neighborhood, uh like discussion forum and they were like so can we agree to do halloween on sunday this year because a tuesday night would be inconvenient it's like no bitch that's not how dates work <laughs> you can't just trick-or-treat on an entirely separate day because you don't want to go out on a tuesday night because you're tired from work <laughs> Can you imagine, like, not getting the memo because you don't join these groups and a bunch of people show up on Sunday night like trick or treat? You'd be like, no. <laughs> da -da -da. Did I really call her a bitch? No, I don't respond to these people on these message boards. I've literally never posted. Just internally, I called them a bitch. Can you imagine how quickly I'd be alienated if I responded to people asking questions like that with no bitch? <laughs> Cast out from the community. <laughs> oh no. There's a, there's like a, a video here that says Midnight Riders Greatest Hits. Don't they only have like three songs? Am I misremembering? Greatest hits, it's it's the same three songs again. 
Those are their greatest hits. I guess I guess so. <laughs> My nose. Sorry, every now and again I sniff and then it hurts my nose and I'm like sad. Try YouTube Premium. Allow YouTube ads or press this cross button. <laughs> Question: Are samurai like old gods of Asgard, where it's an, a, a, a like a pre-established band just using a different name to do songs for the game? Refused? Uh. <laughs> I can't believe Keanu didn't actually sing this song alongside everything else he did for the game. What the hell? Such an inauthentic experience. <laughs> yeah, I mean, actually, isn't Keanu in a band? I feel like I feel like I read that about him. Wait, Lamon wink? Oh, he can wink. <laughs> Limo can't because I had to turn the setting off. Or sorry, I had to make it so that both eyes were attached to the same eye because her eyes were glitching out super bad when I leaned off camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so when when I close my right eye, it doesn't really close my eyes at all. And then my left eye, it closes both. He plays bass guitar for the band Dogstar. Wait, 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 but they, they weren't, they weren't active in 2002, though. So, sorry, they, they went inactive in 2002 and got back together in 2023, so he wasn't in this band when they, they did, uh, Cyberpunks. I guess I should probably play video games, huh? <laughs> Mr. Fluffy Whale, thank you for the 51 months! Thank you, thank you! No? Oh, okay. <laughs> we hate video games! <laughs> Any horror games lined up soon? Wait, I'm playing Alan Wake. That's a horror game. It's got, it's got jump scares and everything. <laughs> There's some kids outside just yelling, run, run, run. Okay. Do, 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 do. 
Limon goes in the trash. Goodbye, Limon. Scariest part of Alan Wake 2 is optimization. Okay, okay, I'm just... Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna I'm, I'm gonna vent at you guys for a second, Mr. I A Kid. Thank you for the eight months. Thank you, thank you. There is a difference between games that have high hardware or sorry high hardware requirements because they are optimized terribly and that they don't deserve or they don't merit that level of hardware requirement because graphically they are not good enough. There are those kinds of games. There are games with high hardware requirements because they are literally pushing the 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 boundary for what we have achieved graphically at this point in time and they require the hardware in order to do that alan wake is that game <laughs> a game that is a, a <laughs> like i know i know there are tons of very badly optimized games coming out at the moment and it's super cool to like shit on those which in fairness they deserve it but there are also plenty of games at the moment with high hard requirements that are that way because they are actually, you know, they, they are, they, <laughs> they are really fucking pretty. <laughs> Vox, thank you so much for subbing for three months in advance. Thank you. Thank you. And for the two months total. Thank you very much. Low FPS equals bad optimization. But the FPS isn't low, though. What? <laughs> Hashtag sponsor? It's not. I'm not sponsored anymore. It was running sub 50 as the building, but now you're at 70 FPS for the rest of the time on the same settings. The water section, I'm pretty sure, is the most intensive section of the game. Can you shoot his exposed balls, says Limebot. No. <laughs> yeah, no. If you go look at Digital Foundry's examination of the game's tech, the, it is one of the most gorgeous games, if not the most gorgeous game this generation. Um... It is absolutely... Also, they debunk the teeth thing for City of Skylines. I think... I don't know. I feel... I feel like... I feel like social media hot takes are so damaging. <laughs> because everyone sees something and flips out about it. And then when the correction comes later or more information comes later, that stuff doesn't get nearly as far. So you just have people still saying, teeth, teeth, teeth. Like a week later... <laughs> And you have people saying Alan Wake is badly optimized. It's it's genuinely not. It's like cyberpunk. It has all the same technologies as cyberpunk. Actually does it better than cyberpunk because it doesn't have the weird ghosting problems that cyberpunk has. At least not to the same degree. It's an NVIDIA-sponsored title. It's not going to run badly because it's their next hardware, darling. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like... People, I think, you know, people saw the preset named Low and assumed that it would look like potato style. Low for uh, Alan Wake is still better than like 99% of the games that are coming out at the moment. It's, it, you know, like, it's, it's crazy. It looks great. It looks beautiful. Yeah, you can actually, there's, there's actually, if you want to test, Digital Foundry came out with like a list of settings, I think it was them, that puts it on parity with like PS5. So it's like the, these these are the settings that that you can run with PS5 style hardware. And it's 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 good. Yeah, you you get like I don't know, 100 frames per second or something. <laughs> yeah, no, it's 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 it sucks like I don't know. I, I, I get it, and I, it is nice when, like, things are accepted. Sorry, Leon came in to say hi. Um, no, it's... <laughs> It's good, it's good when the games are accessible, but occasionally, you know, if one wants to push the envelope in terms of, like, graphical technology, it's not, it's not going to be available on all, or, you know, it's not going to run well on all hardware. So, it is what it is. Like, I, I kind of got sad because 
Control, which was like Remedy's last big game, was also like a benchmark in like new technology. Like at the time, Control's implementation of ray tracing was like, holy fuck, above everything else. It was gorgeous and it, it ran well. So when people were like, God, they've shit it all, they, they, they fucked it up. It was like, have a little goddamn faith, Arthur. <laughs> Um, reduced GPU prices? Yeah, that's not on Remedy, though. That's, you know, Remedy doesn't control the GPU prices. It was the first big DLSS and RS RTX game. Yeah. Yeah, no, Island Wake 2 is absolutely a current-gen only title. So that's, that's why it has, like, a high, a high frame rate requirement. Or, sorry, a high hardware requirement. Those are making games that need a 4090. Mm, Alan Wake doesn't need a 4090. <laughs> if you want to play on, on Ultra at 4K, max, max stuff, yes, yes, it does. But, like, people are running it on the 3000 series just fine. People are running it on the 2000 series just fine. So, I don't know. Have I played Control? Yes, I like Control. I just can't navigate it worth a damn. <laughs> Lieutenant Shadow, thank you for the 61 months. Thank you, thank you. But not the 1080? Hold on. 1080 DTX release date. The 1080 came out in 2016. It is not fair to expect to be able to run a game that is current gen pushing the bleeding edge of graphical technology on a card that is seven years old. <laughs> That's just how it is. Two thousand sixteen is only two years ago. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, if you want to get mad at NVIDIA for, like, demanding or having ridiculous fucking GPU prices, absolutely. Because they are. <laughs> You're getting 60 frames per second at 1080p medium settings for Alan Wake 2. Eh, it's good. Yeah, it's seven years old at this point. <laughs> Isn't that scary? Yeah, no, I, I, I think, you know, the discussion about, like, um, about hardware costs is absolutely one that should be had because it's just getting more and more exponential, like, year on year. That, that, it's, it's too much. But I don't think that's on Remedy to actually, you know, acquiesce. I don't think it's on a game de developers to, like, kneecap their own, uh, games graphics because of that. Oh man, do you remember the 90? Was it the ni the 980 where it said it had 4 gig of RAM but it was actually 3.5 or something and they're like the last 0. 0.5 was all fucky? I had one of those. Oh, <laughs> oh 970. Yes, yes. I had a 970. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say the last of us part one was pushing the envelope or badly optimized i cannot give an informed opinion on that because i didn't personally play it no lad thank you for the four months thank you thank you what's that streamer you're not commenting on things you don't personally understand how dare <laughs> The lol dog, thank you for the 97 months. Thank you, thank you. Holy fuck, that's a long time. <laughs> Baldur's Gate 3 is a weird one because it honestly ran really good for the first two acts and then act three hits and it all goes to shit. <laughs> like, I was getting frame rate drops on, like, high-end hardware. It's It's better now, I think. Okay, 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 okay. Let me go have a look.
Yeah, I do. I do wish that Alan Wake was on the Steam launcher because I actually have no way to track my frame rate because I didn't install the uh, either of the things that either Nvidia or Afterburner need to track your frame rate. So the only way that I can do it really is through Steam. <laughs> so that sucks. Yeah, I can't use the Nvidia overlay. It's 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 not it's not working. I tried to use the game bar overlay for it and it says what does it say? You need expand our user account expanded user account control access to get frame rate info. Request access then restart your PC. I'm not going to. Fuck off. <laughs> da -da -da. Maybe I should put a different Alan Wake pun in my title for every stream and the people will come in and be mad at me. Trisiel, thank you so much for the 35 months. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's a shame because I actually heard that in terms of development, the the people that, uh, sorry, Remedy had a really good time with Epic Games in terms of like getting feedback and stuff on the game during development, which was neat, but without being like, you know, restrictive or anything like that. NVIDIA FPS info? I don't think it, like, wants that. I'll have to check in a second. If Alan Wake was a... Give me, give me a good Alan Wake pun. Was a drink. He'd be an Alan Shake. <laughs> but yeah, TLDR of my rant is some games are badly optimized and some games are pushing the envelope graphically and that's why they require high hardware. Alan Wake is the latter. Check the, the thing again. If, 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 <laughs> Alan, wake. Ooh. Chopsum, thank you for the 82 months. Thank you, thank you. I don't know what happened with Starfield. Like that, that, hmm, that went good. I, I did enjoy my frame rate absolutely exploding in that town though. But yeah, it's also worth keeping in mind that for me, at least, I do have to run all my streaming stuff on top when I'm showcasing this stuff, which does tend to eat into the performance a little bit. Well, hello, Juice. Thank you for the 52 months. Thank you. Thank you. I lose 30 to 40 frames on Cyberpunk because of of streaming. <laughs> like, it's, it's actually kind of crazy. Like, Did people complain when Crisis wouldn't run or were they were like pog graphics? Crisis became like a benchmark. Like, can your PC run Crisis was legitimately a meme. I think the reason why Alan Wake is getting all these these hot takes, <laughs> Alan takes, is because um, we've had a slew of badly optimized games coming out. I mean, games that don't really look any different from last generation's games that for some reason suddenly require ridiculous hardware to run. And I totally get that, but it annoys me when people are, like, now reactionary because of it. Do you remember when The Witcher 2 came out and there was an option that legitimately was basically just like, don't enable this because it won't work with the current generation of hardware? I don't I don't remember what option it was, but there was a particular option in The Witcher 2 and you could not turn that on with the current hardware because you basically just like exploded your frame rate. <laughs> it was like some new shader technology or something like that. I don't know. 
Yeah, no, Alan Lake 2 is very well optimized. That, that was that was what I was uh, complaining about, is some people are acting like Alan Wake is badly optimized because it has hardware requ- high hardware requirements. They're like throwing it into, oh, Uber sampling, yes. Uber sampling. <laughs> what the hell is Uber sampling? I don't even know. Let's go have a look. Uber sampling. Uh, the only... <laughs> The only hits I'm getting are people asking what Uber sampling is in The Witcher 2. <laughs> uh, it's a blur filter. It causes a major performance hit since it renders a scene multiple times. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it does the job of an a anisotropic filtering and anti-aliasing, but it does it by rendering the scene repeatedly. CDPR, what the fuck were you doing? <laughs> All right, cool. CDPR are fun. Rendering a scene more than once is generally a bad idea. Coward! Uh... Okay. <laughs> I couldn't move my camera because the quick save thing was like over the actual tip and I couldn't see what I needed to do to close it. Who would win a fight between V and Geralt of Rivia? <laughs> Bro, are you kidding me? Didn't didn't Geralt canonically in the book die to like a mob of just normal dudes? Because the witchers aren't superhuman. They're just like strong. <laughs> like they're they're better than human, but they're not fucking crazy. Yeah, this has like big who would win in a fight, Goku or <laughs> the crazy pretty graphics, that's what I'm saying! Like, it's obnoxiously pretty. Like, genuinely. I don't remember... You You need help. Good luck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I lose about 30 to 40 frames trying to play Cyberpunk. The real train! Way forward, but it was here for a reason. It had a role to play. It was real-time reflections. Yeah, I, I lose a lot of frame rate because of streaming in VTube Studio. If I play Cyberpunk offline, I get over 100, which is nice. Hey, what's back here? Oh. Wake. Sleep. Can you get under here? Wake. He doesn't have duck technology. He's fine. Do I run VTube Studio on a phone? I capture from my phone, but the program is running on my PC. Did that guy? Oh, that guy just fucking peace. Alright, bye. I didn't know they did that. I thought he was just gonna camp me. Why is that man an inky black shadow? Something, something, the dark place? Oh, my fucking lord! Jesus Christ! <laughs> I hate that! I had to figure this out on the plot board. Have I considered a streaming PC? Sometimes, but it introduces a whole different set of its own problems. Mostly to do with audio mixing. This way? I don't see it. Hello? Oh! Sneaky, sneaky. Words of war! You're a broadcaster. Thank you for the two years. Thank you. Thank you. You have shadowing on my model for those who are watching Alan Wake 2 in the dark. We could do. 
The problem is, I find that because these games are the so dark the these story. days, it might make her really hard to see entirely. Yeah, streaming PCs are cool right up until your audio just, like, poops itself for no reason. It It is nice in the sense, though, that if this game crashed, it wouldn't take my entire stream with it. Limo is distractingly bright. Fine. Oh, fine. Hold on. Give me a sec. Although, I don't know if that eats more... Uh, it might eat more performance. I think it does. I'll test. Hold on. Three PCs, one for audio. That will make it worse! <laughs> <laughs> What about this as like a metal ground? Dark lab. Limebot says, small eye streamer. <laughs> Limebot, you can't fucking say that. That's racist. <laughs> what the fuck, bot? <laughs> Gatito! Thank you for the 10 months. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh man, okay. I never expected it from you, Limobot. <laughs> you know what it probably is? It's probably from when I was actually describing that legitimately with the VTuber software. It's- I have to- <laughs> I have to set the eye maximum. So that like, most values in VTube Studio are between zero for like, eye closed, for example, and one for eye fully open. I had to set mine down to 0 0.75 for eye fully open because my eyes are too narrow for a VTube studio. <laughs> if, I, if I set it to like, if I set it to one, then my eyes are kind of like this all the time. <laughs> Kevin English Bab, thank you for the 63 months. Thank you, thank you. And Null Pistol, thank you for the 32 months. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> And yeah, no, I've I've spoken about that on the stream before, so that's what she might be pirating. Yule having small eyes is a meme. She doesn't take anything from Yule's chat though. Uh, increases damage dealt by the last bullet in the revolver's chamber by 25%. Increases double barrel shotgun damage by 25% when hitting multiple enemies with one shot. Restores 15% of max health when landing a direct hit with the flare gun. Hmm. How high can the model brightness go? I mean, I could turn it up to 100, which would probably just make her into a flashbang. Yeah, I mean, the chatters might have brought it here. Do it? No, stop making me tab. Mm. I'm go with this one for now. Solar flare. <laughs> I can work this out on a plot board. Yeah, yeah. One of my fav uh, favorite uh, Team Fortress Star jokes was how every time the solar flare thing went off, they put, like, cursed images. They would, like, fl flash it up for, like, one frame. Or however long it was. Okay, plot board time! I had a new beat for the story. Hmm. Derailed train. Something terrifying happened here. The cult used fire to claim dominion over the tunnels. The agent had come here looking for the cult for trouble. Hi, Mordoodle. Thank you for the 14 months. Thank you, thank you. 
Hello? Anyone there? Dead. Let's try the cult then, I guess. Oh, the scene had changed. The cult poured the gasoline over the train car. An iron cage that would soon become a coffin. <laughs> I love how he describes everything like a, a cheesy... Like... Writer would, I guess? His breath caught in, in his throat like a fish in a net. Up. Bye. Torchbearers living in the tunnels. They <laughs> lock the poor folks up in a derailed subway car, doused it in gasoline. Yeah. Charming. It turns into a bit of a ghost story after that. They say the dark smoke from the fire still roams the tunnels searching for new victims to devour. There are no happy endings in this city. The story thread felt important. I could use it in one of the scenes I found. Uh, oh, no. I also wanted to double check something because Cyberpunk has this annoying thing where it like loses settings occasionally, but it looks like this one doesn't have that. Oh, wait, shadow detail. There it goes. It's really weird how it happens. Cyberpunk does that. It changes like the DLSS thing down quite often. I can't see the full prose, so all I can see is he stood side. erect like a massive cock early in the morning. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, let's plot this bitch. Wait, what was that? Oh, it's a ladder. Never mind. Let's plot this bitch. Wait, what's this one? Oh, it's a map. This new plot beat would carry me deeper into the story. You can only rewrite reality in a scene you're currently in. Oh, I'm too far back. Changing a plot uh, hold element on. in a scene without being there was impossible. No, that's stupid, Alan. <laughs> Stop saying stupid stuff. story but it worked question can I go back to the other scenes and do it do I want to Okay. Hi, Tim. Oh, 
Nothing's... Oh, okay. Thought maybe you'd have something for me. This is awkward now. Bye. That didn't change a fucking thing. Good. Oh no, here we go. Oh! Okay, it changed quite a big thing. The torchbearers painted the tree there. The tree of knowledge? The tree of life with its roots reaching down to hell. <laughs> it could have been a Christmas tree for all the good it did. Uh-huh. The drifters had scrawled their symbol on the wall. A secret for those in the know. Don't even get any items. Ooh. Guys, the wall is is like wobbling. I don't like it. Nope. 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 Could I play this in VR? <laughs> no. So wait, how far back was... Oh god, the other scene is like right at the beginning of the station. Fuck that, I'm out. Bot is making fun of me? When did she ever not? The bot's mean to me. the world would stop distorting. The subway car had become a burnt husk. Oh. I could get through it now. Right. Thank you. Uh, Alan Wake from behind. Do you ever think like you're running around as John Wick or some shit? Oh, this is a shortcut, I think. Ya yeah, boy. <gasps> 
word of power? What? What do you mean in there? No, no. If I change the scene, it's not gonna work, right? Because he's not technically in that scene. Maybe... Can I, like, break it? Oh! Aha! Solved it with gun. Maybe I had missed something on the plot board. Wait, what? Alan, I hadn't even gotten confused yet. Stop spoiling shit. Oh, shit. How many of them are in there? Holy moly. Okay. Let's just pretend they're not there. So annoying. Can I crouch? Alan's got bad knees, no crouching allowed. Oh, but I need the torch to see the word. Alan. Holy fuck. Alan, see you later. Uh, this is a flashback. Yeah, he's- he's out of the dark place in FBI ladies section, so I'm assuming this is him, like, explaining what happened. Word of fix. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. You think there's anything else in there? I don't see anything obvious. I should look at the plot board to figure out a way forward. Fuck off, Alan. I'm <laughs> I'm not even stuck. My path was blocked. I had to find a way through. I didn't even know that the light yet. Would help me. Alan, I swear to God. Why does the voice sound like Jigsaw? You're not wrong, actually. Alan, I want to play a game. For years, you've written shitty horror novels. Detailing disgusting things that happened to your characters, but never to you. You better start believing in horror stories, Alan. You're in one. Crossover of the century. <laughs> hmm. Stole a little light. I stole a little light. I stole a little light. It's gonna be a huge waste of ammo if there's nothing in there. But I can't tell from looking through these bars because there's too many fucking shadows. I don't think there's anything in there. Weak. There's an arrow on the ceiling? It's that. For that. Just turn the shadows off in the settings. That's funny, actually. I like that. Hmm. I could go back with my scenes and see if I can find something. I was sure I had the answer on the plot board. <laughs> Alan, you're frustrating me. 
<laughs> Find the story, shape the dark place. Alan's about to get nailed to the plot board if he doesn't shut up. I changed the story. And with that, the dark place changed. Uh -huh. Iroh, thank you for the two months. Hello, how are you? But how much of the dark place has changed? Doesn't really look like anything changed, to be honest. and things. Cult of the word. problem kind of is that uh <laughs> I don't I don't remember this was something out of a horror story but I had to keep going I don't really remember what we were doing Getting the hell out of here? It would be nice, wouldn't it? What chapter are we on? Uh... <laughs> Oh, okay, so you can't actually use the other ones on here? It's annoying. Once I zoom in, I don't know how to get out. Maybe I need to explore more in the other section. I don't feel like that's the way, though, because, like... You think it's cozy here? But there's shadows trying to murder you here. Are you okay? <laughs> no! Tim, I don't know where I'm going. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's Tim's bed. Hi, Tim.
Makes me love how a bunch of these are interactive, but most of them don't have anything in them. Like, I went all the way there, I got a light. Oh. Shit. No. Hmm. Well, I have a lot of batteries, I guess. determines whether or not they're going to become, like, tangible or stay shadows. Like, I could put the light back in there, but I don't really see what that gets me. like telltale signs as to whether or not they're hostile it's more sort of like whether or not you aggro them because it has this whole section about like making alan less likely to be noticed but yeah if you're quick enough you can just fucking sprint by <laughs> Why does Alan have a sonic screwdriver? He does, and he has a torch. I took the light back, right? Right now, I'm Alan confused. <clears throat> yeah, as soon as I'm out here, this scene doesn't matter anymore, I don't think. Do I have to clear out this place? Oh, there's something around the corner there. Bits, you bitch. Wake. Nope. Okay, so if I put the light in. There's a wall. I take the light out. We'll go poof. I what? Need to find the answer on the plot board. <laughs> We're on the plot board, Alan. I don't really understand Alan's plot board. There's nothing I can actually do with the plot board. 
Because, like, in order... It says doorway to the underworld there. Maybe that's what I need. Hear <laughs> those blades, the rituals, antechambers, the cult's place of dark power. Hmm. Oh, I can't do it while I'm not there. Like, I have to go back. I couldn't add a new element from here. I'd have to go to the scene. But the thing is, I went there and changed the scene. <laughs> oh, wait! Then, oh, fuck you, Alan. Nothing to do with anything. You fucked me up, Alan. I don't even know what that changed. Alan's doing his best. No, he's not. Hmm. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I see what I did. Really so I go that way. I go all the way back, I think, because I think that's the first bit. Me, 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 the plot board. Go to hell, Alan. Oh, it's very dark in here. I don't like that at all. <laughs> no. Anonymous, thank you for the 300 bits. Stop trying to scare me, you dick. Yeah. Oh shit, that was a drop, not a- not stairs. Oh god, there's even more. Alan, run! There was an arrow. Alan, walk! <laughs> oh, there it is. I like how I didn't even follow the fucking uh, arrow there. Word of lamp. I love lamp. It's kind of like the path forward. Let me explore the rest of this incredibly creepy area over here. The smoke on the water is very cool. And so is the fire in the sky. Nice. <laughs> oh, let's 
the end of the illusion. Bye! <laughs> Thank you very much for the bits. I appreciate it. Ba -da, da -da 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 -da. Okay, what does this do? Mm -pa. Word of gun! I love gun. Five percent chance not to f consume ammo when firing the revolver. That sounds nice. I'm all about conserving supplies. Oh shit, you guys multiplied while I was like daydreaming or whatever. Okay, I was just pointing to that one. I can figure this out on the plot board. Fuck off, Alan. I don't believe your plot board bullshit anymore. Alan, sleep? The uh -oh. Hall had a story to tell. Okay, you are coming right towards me. Fuck off with that. He's drowning. I do actually have to use the plot board now that I found the end of the line, yeah. So what did the light do here? Did it... Oh, wait, no, it doesn't hide the thing. What is the point of the light? No! Easy bear! Thank you for the six months! Thank you, thank you! Oh, I can absolutely get over there, can't I? Get up there. <laughs> Is it just me or are there more and more shadows? <laughs> Everywhere I go, wake. Okay, I can't get back there yet, but hopefully, if I change the scene, I can. The door is open if the light's on. Na 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 
I had to keep working on the story. Shut up, Alan. Thing is, this is outside of the scene, though. Maybe I'll go all the way around at some point? The new scene I had found was important for the story. that about characters in basically every genre, Dom. Especially in survival games where it has like a hunger meter, but there's no poop meter. Does someone say this is my story in one of the games? It sounds like something you would say. Because it's a writer pun. <laughs> Seriously, why can't I open this train door? Being annoyed. better. Oh no, there are two! <laughs> sanity check myself and make sure that taking the light doesn't open that door. I don't think it does. Alan Wake. Alan Wake. Alan! It does not. Don't understand that train at all. <laughs> the word of power? I already got that one. The most obvious one. The murder cult! Ooh. The hole had changed into the murder cult's hideout. Jesus. What's the book? Alan Wake, Alex Casey. An Alex Casey thriller. <laughs> the cultists were close now. A dark presence rising from the depths. scared. Whether the summoning ritual had been a bona fide supernatural event or the mass psychosis of stark raving lunatics, it didn't change the facts. The cult was messing with things no one should mess with. The ritual was a vital part of the story, the key to reaching the murder site. Complete the ritual in the collapsed tunnel? No, that sounds awful. I'd rather not.
Sounds like Max Payne, definitely not him. <laughs> okay, chatters who have managed to, uh... Get here before me. How the fuck do I get to the other side over here? There's something over there and I want it. I want it. Alan Elp? Yeah. Word of come? Yes, I, I invoke the word of come. Are you guys demanding I ask for help without actually knowing the answer? I got a new story clip, did I? Man, I didn't even see I'm dumb. Oh my god. I had a new idea. I do. A new story thread. Beep boop. Yes, this I'm sure some of these shadows are actually aggressive. Because you're right, some of them just kind of fuck off after a second. They say my name and then just leave. No. <gasps> the way it is open! Oh shit, that one's aggressive. Fuck off, you! Safe in here. Great. Smile. No. Alan's not here right now. Damn you. You can't come in here. It's illegal. of action.
Maybe we should have maxed one out and see what happened, but never mind. I was hiding! Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Make Wait. him the cutest that I've ever seen. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Give him tulips like roses and clover. And tell him that his lonesome nights are over. Wait, was that door open or closed? Closed. Sandman, I'm, I'm sure so the block had the pieces I needed. <laughs> Fuck off, Alan! Ain't got nobody to call my own. Alan, wake. No. I guess I change it out now and go back? That seems very long winded, though. Alright, back to the collapsed tunnel. Redeem for Brat, Slimy Bot. Oh, Lord! <laughs> Help. Shit. First try. That guy was absolutely going to attack me, so I'm just gonna leave. Wait, oh no, I need to words of power! Go away, thank you. Alright. Literally any of the others I think will work. He kicked my ladder? He did. What a dick. No, leave me alone! They're getting more persistent. I'm running out of ammo. Sleep. PNG, thank you for the 40 months. Thank you, thank you. Goodbye. That was many. Oh, thank you, Don. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Da, 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 da. 
I'm still interested to see, like, the fact that they reuse the actor. If it means that the, uh... Character from Quantum Break is going to be related. Is there a way to back out of a plot element after I pick it? Because it seems like I have to back out of the entire Mind Palace thing or whatever. Writer's room. I had to be at the scene. To see and understand it. Oh, wrong one. Ooh. Oh. The dark Fuck. 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 <laughs> Run, Alan! Fuck. Leisurely jog, Alan. It's basically the same thing, really. The AI is not liking that effect. Help! Help! Am I safe from the dark presence in here? Yeah. I couldn't hear the dark presence. It was gone. You sure? The tunnel was open now. I can get through. <laughs> Considering he's in... <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Alright. Alan Jabate. Maybe I just run as fast as I can. Which is not very fast. He just kind of jogs. Presence. It was gone. It's not gone. The tunnel was open now. I could get through. Run on, run! Shit. Use a flashlight on it? I don't think it gives a fuck. Unfortunately, the dark presence the dark cannot presence. get through rocks. I had seen it before. I remember it now. <laughs> How do I get back into the notifications window to silence those again? I forget. <laughs> Shift F3, thank you. We did mute it, but I guess it, it re unmutes itself. Hey, we found an Allen Lake. I had found the murder site. Somehow the victim's heart was the key. I forgot to turn the new TD mode back on. Or off, even. Not that YouTube seems to care. Something had shifted. I felt an overwhelming closeness to home. <laughs> an FBI agent? Who are you? What is that? Who are you? She can hear me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. Yeah. 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 This is Alan Wake. I'm trapped here. The dark place. Under Cauldron Lake. Now, now. Cauldron Lake. Now, what are you? I, I'm trying to escape. I'm making progress, but I'm in danger. 
The dark presence. Help me. Please, help me. I could sense it. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed outside Parliament Tower, where I had lived with Alice. It was out there, waiting for me. No, we already saw the conversation from her side, I think. Oh boy, mute my stream again, music, do it. I just realized something. No DMCA. No, yeah, no DMCA, but I did get auto-muted on Twitch, unfortunately. I checked the VOD, and it was, uh, muted here. Saved five minutes ago. That's not now. You good, buddy? I'm going to find a save. The writer of the first word, not the writer of the last, with the terror of the light and the shadow cast. The third eye now open to protect the night. This is the moment to write. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Uh, she does hobnob, yeah. Thing is, most of this uh, subway has been like blue gray, so it's harder to notice. Stepping to the murder site, I stepping to the murder site, I felt it hanging in the air. A meaning, the violent emotion of the act, like a cloud of wrath. The dead eyes of the victim staring at something you couldn't see, and yet making you aware of it. Something that soaked into this place on a molecular level, overlapping with your meaningless existence. A regression to something you had managed to forget. Marking you. Taking you for a ride. Making you crazier. Uh-huh. If I run right up to here and make this, like, more prominent, you can see that Limo goes kind of yellow. Udo, thank you so much for the 11 months! Thank you, thank you! Blue! Wait, does it not count? I gotta do it from here. Word of gun! I love word of gun. 
He's talking about Alan's shotgun. I don't have a shotgun. <laughs> Way to spoil things, word of gun. The station had changed. I was closer now. If I miss anything in the subway, it's too late. That's fine. It is what it is. Close to being home? No. Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? Of course not! Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Have you been paying any fucking attention at all, Alan? It brought me one step closer to escape. Will I be home, you dumb bitch? Alright, let me quickly go to the main menu, because I want to turn the nudity filter on so that I stop. Testing YouTube. Which one was it? There we go. The man has hope. I can't see why. Yeah, I don't know why that option is an interface. It's really weird. at the edge of the plaza was ringing again. Oh, Mori, I'm sure I didn't miss the shotgun. Hey, Alan. Thank God he picked up. I thought I lost you again. Who are you? Why are you helping me? Did you go deeper? To the Oval app? Are you talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I... That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. Well, we would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower? To make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. <sighs> it can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come... Wait, wait, hello? Wait, what if, what if the island that they picked up at the, uh, side of the lake is actually Scratch? Like, the manifested double? What if it's not Alan Wake at all? Alan fake! <laughs> behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story?
There we go. Does Remedy own Max Payne? I, I don't know if they do, and maybe that's why they can't directly reference Max Payne. No? Okay, so that's that's kind of why, I assume that's why they're being kind of coy about it. <gasps> okay. Haunting! Alice's photo equipment. Set to go off when the door opens. Kind of a dickish thing to do. Give me a sec, Alice. I'm gonna go check out the this rest of the house. This is my study, where I wrote my books. This symbol wasn't here before. Alice's video camera. Mm. No memory card inside. Mm -hmm. The FBI dude is is Sam Lake. I think. Detective Casey. Alice's oh. memory card. I guess I'll go check the door. No, where did you go? Alice. Take photos for exhibition posters. This is a photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? Is he stalking her? Did I finish control? No, I didn't. I had, like, real trouble navigating in that game. When I was younger, photography was everything to me. I moved to New York thinking I'd make it as an artist. And then I met Alan. We had a good thing. We were both dedicated by our creative ambitions. The only difference was that Alan's work made money. He brought me work when he could. I took his promo shots, um, created covers for his books. I'm sure he forced his publisher into it. I was taking photos, just not my photos. And that gnawed at me. Things got complicated sometimes, but that's life, right? We loved each other. Then hit a block. Yeah, no, they, they use real, real, like, film I brought out in the game. Side of him. <gasps> One I didn't like. I set up a trip to see a doctor in Washington. I didn't tell him until we got there. This was the gaslight story, right? We argued. Things went wrong. Drowned, allegedly. It's easy for people to think it was my fault. Hell, I do, too, sometimes. About six years.
years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Yeah, I don't think that the, like, video clashes with the surroundings at all, really. Coolest part is if you look on the right, it's Alan's shadow on the projection projection. He always did have anger in him. And her hands will like go into the shadow sometimes, like if I move him. Whoa. <laughs> I set up cameras around the apartment. With motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. I'm calling this exhibit the dark place. <gasps> Alice, Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? I swear to God, if he runs at me out of the fucking picture, I'm going to be upset. Oh, God. All right. Let's go. Hi, Scratch. <laughs> I love that in every full, like, uh actual video he looks so fucking confused story. initiation to project myself through the dark place to look for a way out <laughs> the story it brought me here brought me nowhere loop me back i was writing this story and in the story i now stepped into the writer's room but there was no one here writing I wonder if I should have dicked around exploring more before I went to the apartment. Thanks for watching, Scuttles! <laughs> Bad. 
head cough. Oh, hi! Snap back to reality. Okay, let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. It's so About fucking dark in here. Can we turn on the light, guys? In a nightmare dimension called the dark place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. <laughs> Mr. Scratch? Or is it the dark presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the dark presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, <laughs> which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. But your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes, fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when it, when night falls. <laughs> you don't need to purple prose it, buddy. Back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. <laughs> magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I can send him back to the dark place, make all the shit go away. I... Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is, is full of holes, and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It, it's like it's like it's like a half forgotten dream. Why is it so dark in here? Stop simultaneously drinking coffee! <laughs> Mr. Wake. Alan. We've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. <gasps> Gameplay transition! Now. It's insane. <laughs> and there's so many. You can always tell when they do like a rotation around the head. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness. Possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? A cult. Yes. Yes, they have the clicker. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? Why is there a dark spot on her jacket? Oh, it's so a button. They That's even cool. Have the clicker. They could be working for Scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? 
<laughs> I would say he's very fucking confused. Pumpkin. Wait, is Deerfest like Halloween? Let's profile Wake. Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter, the next chapter, the next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. I'm getting mad. Like, they they better explain that she's psychic or something, because I, I fucking hate what she's Wake doing here. <laughs> Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. Scratching mm -hmm. out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. They're not educated guesses. She literally just fucking pulls shit out of her ass. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. Like at I one point she's like, where's the, the heart? And the then her vision tells her well. and she's like, I have deduced that the heart is in a connected. fridge in the convenience store. And it's like, bitch, what? We did. Or vice versa. A fluffy pillow! They give us a 49 months! Thank you, thank you! <laughs> Indeed. Wake just gave us a lot of information. But this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. I actually forgot about Zane being a thing, honestly. Where'd a clicker at? Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? The Nightingale I had to hear was a monster. The floating around cauldron lake receded afterwards. Nothing about this makes rational sense. We found Alan Wake, a rider missing for 13 years at the shore of the lake. Hopefully he can shed some light on this. Rageful Hunter, thank you for the sub. Thank you very, very much. Welcome, welcome! Wait, what does it say? The cult should be- could be followers of Scratch. They have the clicker after all. Nope. Maybe what kind of cult? Nope. Cult the goal? There we are. Blue Spike! Thank you for the 26 months! Thank you, thank you! The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. Where was I yesterday? Stuck on public transport true. for hours. Why couldn't it have been a romance? One sec. You don't go. 
Did I have a nice time in London? Um, it was fine. I, it was mostly to get my hair done did, uh, which I did. And it's not always nice talking to my stylist. She's lovely. But it, like, rained on me a bunch. And it was, like, oh, fuck. Really, really, uh uncomfortable on the underground really crowded and then when i was on the trains yeah it was just so crowded i had to stand both ways and it was tiring making uh, it fiction which is contact with the dark place is a power to change reality whatever you write in the dark place becomes reality it can't be that simple In the form of Scratch, the Dark Presence's editing wake story wants to turn the world into a fucking nightmare. <sighs> wake was trapped in the dark place for 13 years. The mother, strange reality, blah, blah, blah. An evil twin is a bit convenient. I'll keep an eye on it. That's, that's a fair assessment, honestly. <laughs> Wake must get the clicker before Scratch. With it, the story can be changed and Scratch will be sent back to the dark place. That's it. Uh, if we don't stop it, Scratch will use the story to permanently change reality at the start of Deerfest. That's not right. Uh... <clears throat> Jesus, this is a big board. <laughs> Holy moly, all right, I'm missing a clue somewhere. <gasps> You're hiding okay. pages! Mr. Wake, I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. Yeah, it is interesting, because sometimes it does just seem like she she deduces things based on just, like, understanding people. And then other times she just psychically has information. <laughs> and I'm curious as to, to see whether or not In it's just the game being silly, or if it's, like, a power memory, that she actually has. Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time. In the hands of the Cult of the Tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew her weapon. I feel like a clicker would be an unflattering name to call your penis. Saga saw Wake's clicker. <laughs> In the hands of the cult. <laughs> the cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. It's all on the page. The clicker. The cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. <laughs> From now on, you can switch between Alan and Saga stories via the bucket and the janitor's break room. Feel free to play in whatever order you choose. What? That, I guess. Hmm. We could just switch back and forward, like, 
as we feel like it. I do want to play a little bit of Saga because we just played like three hours of Wake. You wrote these pages in the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them. I remember writing an endless amount of pages. But... Rafferty, thank you for raiding. The thank you, thank you. From the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you for your cooperation. You want me to do Alan? <laughs> On stream? Why? I appreciate it. Thank you, Gravidia. Did you have a nice stream? Mm hmm. Here's the kingdom. Nice. If you have a good reason as to why I should be doing, Alan. Speak now or forever hold your peace. It's a good short chapter. Fine. If I don't like it, I'm gonna ban you. Presence had stopped me. So all of Alan's story here is. I'd seen the title page of another manuscript, Return. I didn't remember writing it, but it felt. Is before he got out? Important. Question mark. To find it. Or do we not know yet? Goals right. Certainly the first couple of chapters of the Alan's part were. It could be Scratch. Not again. Welcome, welcome. Our guest tonight is Alan Wake. This time we wanted to do something. I was back, and I hadn't time, forgotten. I knew how this worked now. Man. I could take control, no more surprises. The song is called Herald of <gasps> Darkness. I like to call this next segment the story of the journey of Alan Wake, the musical. <laughs> Look at Alex Casey. We have to do what we always do, we'll <laughs> chat, but instead of talking, we'll sing it. Oh no. <laughs> he looks so. <laughs> it's with the gentleman. Thank you for the three months. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I want to sing. What the hell? <laughs> From what I've gathered, you grew up nice and sheltered with mama's pretty stories and your own made up fury. And mama gave me a magic clicker. Well, yes, I think it's true and fair to say. <laughs>
That way? Okay, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. This way? Okay. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> Alan, what are you doing? Are they managing to like loop the music so you definitely don't ever like get ahead? And it only like changes to the next segment when you move far enough? I'm pretty sure that's what they're doing and that's fucking awesome. <laughs> entire game that's just this. <clears throat> <laughs> mm. <laughs> His expression after every one of these is so good. Hard-boiled killers became bestsellers. 
It was all too much, I had to get away. Thank you very much for the 300 bits, Star Really. <gasps> A letter! giving me you know when you first play Final Fantasy 7 remake and you get the song and dance segment ah! <gasps> it's just like that amazing You want me to go that way? Yeah, you do? O okay, okay, hold on. I'm getting yelled at again. <laughs> I, I don't even know how they set this up, like... Everything is constantly changing, and the way that they're using the lights to do that is so cool. Like... I need to see a making of. It's... it's... it's in insane. Telling me to go, that light is where? In the car? Oh, whatever. Shoot, Alan. Nope. What if that ended the scene? I'd reload.
I swear it keeps seeing the light and then it just changes. <laughs> I'm doing it again. I love his dance moves, they're too good. Eventually, they're going to get, like, freaking the old gods of Asgard to yell at me about where the lights are. I s Light! Light! Wait, what did that say? Shifter. What? Oh, I need to put a light on there. Okay, I need to go find a light. That's why it's getting weird. Time to go find the light. Shitter? It doesn't say shitter. Does it? No! <laughs> you die here. Oh, that sucks. Can I steal it from the getaway club? Nope. Like, it says to go this way. Can I get the lights from over here? Or do I just go straight through past Alan? Nope. Run all the way back? There's no way I'm going all the way back. I think I'm supposed to be back here. <laughs> nope. Alright, let's follow the way that it tells me to. I already got a light? No, I didn't. It said I had no charges. So let's just follow all of the lights then. But wait, they contradict! This one says to go here. Maybe only the lit signs. Oh, wait. Oof. <laughs> Oof. So cool. It's 
sorry, Pikmin said hi. It's so fucking dark! Help! Help! I have become disoriented because I looked away from the computer. Help! That helps. <laughs> oh no, it's fucking deer fest. Maybe I should pay attention? Yeah, you're right. I should ignore my animals. Only video games! <gasps> A flare gun! Oh, my torch is out. That sucks. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, it's the speedy ones! Ow. Help! Don't zoom! Okay, I need to use the flare gun. Because I don't have any light left! Stop it! I'm dead. I don't have any flashlight left. We're done. Yep, that's it. Quick heal. Give me something. Flashlight, thank you. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> so distracted by sick tunes. Give me some supplies. It's ogre. What does this do? Painkillers! I love those! Delicious. Slow mode, nerd. <laughs> 
enemies. Yep, yeah, you're not wrong. Go back and look at the floor? Why? It says... Wait for Solo. <laughs> okay. I hear them. Oh, oh no! I tapped out of the game! I tapped out of the game! I can't move! Help! <laughs> Help! Help! Jesus Christ! It brought up my Windows password manager! Break those barrels with my knife. Holy shit. That was interesting. Oh no. Oh no. Oh Such no. A dark place <laughs> and I trapped in here. Only <laughs> I cannot remember. <laughs> there was a manuscript that held a key. A vicious cycle I must oh, no. surrender to. Echo seems to seek out again <laughs> and again until I figure it out to bring this song to its end. Canadian guy 
Okay, thank you for the death bots. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Hestafisk, I'm so sorry. Thank you for the two months. Thank you, thank you. Apologies. It's a little bit distracting right now. Thank you, thank you very much. No, there's not. I guess we'll just have to stay here forever. <laughs> you have to find your way out. No. To bring this song to its end. Mm -mm. <laughs> he is imploring me with his eyes and I ignore him. Do you think if I stay here long enough, he'll say, please climb the ladder? I will bring this song to its end. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're changing. I think, I think he's done. They, they're leaving. Oh no, they left. No, dancers come back. <laughs> okay, they're back. Loop, yes. Is there any way out? No. bad though if this is our experience also the fucking lighting is insane <laughs> like all of the lights that the dancers are dancing by like change the shadows on alan in the entire room that's nuts <laughs> Final chorus brings the song to its climactic end. It better be a good fucking chorus. <gasps> me! Yeah, me! <laughs> yeah! a really pain smile. Ha, <laughs> 
I love this game so much. <laughs> And I thought this place couldn't get any stranger. Ah, <gasps> Auntie. Champion of fly. <laughs> Herald of darkness. <laughs> Lost in the tomb. Hi. You had a good time. Nothing to say? All right, well. <laughs> he right. was in control. Herald of darkness. <laughs> Lost in the I swear his brother Bergel. I the little Light the boy at Yenka Connet, so him at What he say, what he say, chat, what he say. Champion of flight. It's finished, yeah. He was talking to his Swedish brothers, or about his Swedish brothers, but he's uh, talking in Finnish. And he is indeed mopping a carpet, which is making me uncomfortable. He, it, like, that's just gross. <laughs> he said subscribe to Lime Malicious. Use code Lime to get 10% off your gamer subs. Yeah, I think that's what he said. Hi, Snuffy! Snuffy, did you see the musical? Holy shit, Snuffy, did you see it? If you didn't, I'm gonna go fucking back and play it again! <laughs> Was this thing optional? No, this is a chapter. Ah! <laughs> End of part. I hope it plays a song again. <laughs> I know, but I wanna. Wait, what? Musical? God damn it, Snuffy! Wait, you're sick? No, Snuffy, don't be sick. I hope you get better soon. <laughs> We're playing the entire goddamn chapter for Snuffy. <laughs> Yoshi Green, thank you for the two months. Thank you, thank you. I will send all the healing energy through the form of Remedy's ridiculous sense of humor. <laughs> okay, hold on. He's still singing. Yeah, you're all banned. <laughs> Give me a sec. Uh... Let me... Okay, this is... This this is what I was talking about. Snuffy. This is a horror game, by the way. Still he's a torch bearer And it couldn't be much clearer A world needs its warrior True wind rise The dawn <laughs> Is that Keanu Reeves though? <laughs> it does look like him, especially from behind. Good, hold on. 
gonna get murdered. Where'd she go? Oh, fuck it, whatever. Get some flashlight! Flashlight, flashlight, flashlight! Yeah, this went on for 20 minutes or so. And it's a all singing, all dancing segment. Look at him go. <laughs> He dodged me. What a dick. <laughs> no, no, I loaded a save to show Snuffy, because Snuffy's not well and we're healing her with the power of musicals. Yeah, it only loops dynamically. In the sense that, uh... If you stay in a segment, it doesn't progress the music so you don't run out of music. I just want to show Snuffy the end chorus part. And we'll move on. It shouldn't take too long to get back to. Wait for the solo. Gimme the solo. Gimme the solo! Okay, almost there. Almost back at the final chorus. If I trigger as many enemies as possible, can I blow them all up with a flare? Or alternatively, I might just die. That could work too. What are you gonna do? I'm in the light. You can't be in here. That's illegal. That's fucking illegal! Behind the yellow line! Oh shit, wrong way. Here we go. <laughs> I do love his thousand yard stare every time I go into the TV. Aw, we love you, Snuffy. Okay, Snuffy, are you ready for the finale? I didn't see that coming. <laughs> it's a different a line. Vision. Dark place, am I trapped in here? Is this <laughs> real? I cannot remember. There was a manuscript, it held a key. A vicious cycle I must not surrender to. <laughs> Echo seems to seek out again and again until I figure it out to bring this song to its end. <laughs> <laughs> I love everybody involved with this shit. It's so good. <laughs> Is there any way out to bring this song to its end? Huh. 
These parts are live action. And then obviously, like, my character is CJ. Songs and the final chorus brings the song to its climactic end. Okay, here you go, Snuffy. All for you. something. <laughs> Did you see it? One of the guys in the background is holding a teddy bear. Okay, thank you for rating. And I thought this place couldn't get any stranger. <laughs> All right. Uh. Shit. Which one was it? Manual saves here. This one? No. This one, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Again? No. <laughs> Just do nothing but play that stupid musical section over and over. It, it was fucking good. I love Remedy so much. And here we are. Is this a fun game? It's incredible. But I would say to get the most out of it, you need to play Alan Wake 1 at the very, very least. There's an argument to be made to play Control as well, but you definitely need Alan Wake 1. I love Ati. Hey, buddy. But yes, no, very, very fun game. Essentially, the TLDR is that Alan Wake is a writer, and a dark presence uses his writing to manifest things in reality. And at the end of... Or, or sorry. I guess it's, you know, it's not really a spoiler because you're watching Alan Wake too. But essentially, he becomes trapped... And is desperately trying to find a way out of what they call the dark place, which is like a twisted version of reality. It was all about me. This performance the dark place was putting on. But I had no control over it. I knew how utterly lost I was. Yeah. Also, it's fucking gorgeous. Look at this game. It's so goddamn pretty. The payphone was ringing again. The mystery caller was back at it. I had to find out more. Oh, should I switch back to Saga now? I just realized. Hold on, let me go see if I can get back to Saga. Honestly, I could do nothing but play the frickin' uh... To the phone. Last time the caller pointed me in... Nope, we're switching reality! Bye, bitch! <laughs> Hi, Alan. 
I enjoyed your musical. Hi, Casey. What's up? Okay. Pat's favorite deer fest clothes. Go. The yarn. Everyone is wearing fucking flannel. Stuffed moose and squirrels one. No, Stop staring you. at me, please. Baby dead marble eyes still give me nightmares. I think they broke because she's staring at a lamp and he's staring at me. <laughs> she loves lamp. So who's in for a bet this year? A hundred bucks says there'll be a Hello, world. and welcome to Coffee World, voted Washington's best coffee thing. <gasps> it's Elmo! Family friendly and available to children of all ages. <laughs> Just like our coffee. What? So, take a sip of our own dear diner organic coffee and let the adventure begin! <laughs> Hold on for dear life on the Espresso Express! Oh! <laughs> Soak in some local history at the Huatari Well, where two serial killers once hid the disemboweled bodies of their murder victims. Uh, it's not a haunted. <laughs> <laughs> Come join Mocha Moose and the goats at our amusement park petting zoo. Just don't share your coffee with the goats. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. Seriously. It's not a moving. <laughs> Take in amazing views from the slow roaster Ferris wheel. I can almost see the watery lighthouse trailer park. <laughs> this is so much fun. And finish off at our beautiful gift shop where seniors and children under 10 receive a 9% discount on keychains and propane tanks. <laughs> Welcome to Coffee World. <laughs> we guarantee you'll jaw a great time. <laughs> this is the third time I've requested something be done about the TV in my room. It keeps going on by itself. It's keeping me awake all night. Yes, sir, I'm terribly sorry for that. Uh, we've called a professional electrician. In the meantime, have you tried unplugging the TV for the night? Oh, oh, there's an idea, Einstein. <laughs> well, 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 why, why don't I just get rid of everything I'm paying for in that room while I'm at it? Sleep on the floor. Go to the toilet in the corner. Yeah, I'm not unplugging it. You're fixing it. Of course. I sir. mean, that's kind of unreasonable. Like, you're not using the TV at night. It's what? <laughs> what? He gave you a solution. I'm gonna go see if I can find something on the TV in his room. Though that feels like a hint. I play the key the piano even. Not that TV. Hi, girly. Welcome, welcome. Nope. Any scrap page. Huh. Ed hadn't been the same since his latest show had closed. This wasn't the first time one of his productions had shuttered early. Scathing social commentary in a one-act play wasn't exactly filling seats. When Tammy told him she was taking a research trip to Bright Falls, he decided to tag along. Ed told her he wanted to find inspiration. Really, he just wanted a break from the city. But it was true that he certainly needed to find something. A voice. A direction. An idea. Something authentic to himself. Ed knew he couldn't keep using Tammy's money to fund his playwriting. After the argument with Tammy, Ed stormed out of the diner and drove their rental car back to Cauldron Lake to prove a point. Now standing in the dark woods, the sun hidden by the trees, Ed wished he could remember what that point was. Something about masculinity. 
He cursed at himself and turned to go. Suddenly, he was blinded by a light in his face. Voices shouted and hands pushed him to the ground. Ed struggled in vain. See you later, Harry. Thanks for being here. Tammy tapped her pen on her notebook. Alan Wake had ridden this same ferry into town when he arrived. This was his entry into Bright Falls. His first steps across the threshold. She wrote that down. She always found it helpful to Pop walk the builder. Thank you for subbing. Can you fix did. it? See what they saw. It added great color to the book. Tammy felt raindrops on her face. God, again? She pulled up her hood. The rain just kept coming. She missed New York. So far, this hadn't been the simple research trip she pictured. First the incident at the lake, then the fight with Ed. It's not surprising tempers got hot. They were both on edge after what had happened. Tammy had said some things. Things she regretted. She looked out over the harbor. A chill passed through her. She hoped Ed wouldn't do anything stupid. Remember when I was like, I hope Alan Wake has a new uh, Old Gods of Asgard song. Remedy was like, yeah, yeah. Tammy didn't want me to come, I can tell. Not like the trip is even helping. I thought getting out of the city would inspire me, but Bright Falls is just a bunch of trees and empty storefronts. I need to find something. I'm tired of writing one-act plays about how shitty the world is. I thought scathing social commentary would make me feel like a real artist, but I don't know. It's not me. I want to write something weird, something really out there, something authentic, but what? Fuck this town. I don't even want to get into what happened last night. It's weird, though. Sitting here in the hotel room, some pieces are starting to f uh, fall together. An idea for a new play, a space cult, running down the galaxy in some misguided search for TBD. A lone man, an artist, wandering the stars until his destiny puts him straight in the cult's path. Old Black Cast, a musical, a rock opera? It's not opening. Hmm. God, this game is pretty. Do you think I can get into the rental rooms yet? I want to go there for like the last puzzle. I'm going to go check out the Oh Dear Diner. Rock opera, opera. Bum, 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 ba -da -ba -da -da -da. Yeah, that's why I switched back to Saga for a little bit. Oh, that's not Rose. I felt like we'd had a lot of darkness. No, but you Oh yeah, sorry, my my torch. <laughs> Presumably, according to the case board, I think there's like a... Oh, for later. Yeah, there's there, there are lunchboxes in Bright Falls, but I haven't found any yet. Same with, same with the uh, stashes. Hello. How's it going? Not bad, person. How are you? You're Would I still be streaming? Ah, Batman! <gasps> special guest today on the program. Would I be still be streaming if I woke up in the body of a 40-year-old investment banker from New Jersey for, uh, one day? Do I have my memories? What a treat to be on with you today. The pleasure's all mine, Terry. Now, I hear you're doing something special for Deerfest. 
Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm crafting a selection of custom basswood cuckoo clocks, but the real special sauce is when it's cuckoo time and you're expecting a bird to pop out for a chirp. <laughs> out comes a big old deer. <laughs> well, <just eat. laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. Real neat. That's gonna have the tourist tickle pink. And I hear you're selling these at the Sunday market. So make sure to see, see you later, Hestipus. Thanks so much for being here. Our sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky, while you're there, all right? Terry, you, you, you still there? Yeah, yeah, still here. I'm just... Jeez, Pat, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this. I, I, I thought you heard Wendy's dead. <gasps> oh, boy. That's, that's a strange joke you're playing there, Terry. No, it's... I, I, I'm sorry, Pat, you... You know all that FBI business. Wendy was one of those bodies they found. Well, that's just not possible, Terry. Wendy stopped by this morning with three flavors of beef jerky. She brought me the uh, the, the smoked hickory and the teriyaki. What is going on with this Wendy's dead, Wendy's not dead subplot? I'm, I'm real sorry, Pat. What was that other one? She was just talking about this just hours ago smoke hickory teriyaki and hickory teriyaki thanks tapio it's it's just a bit of a strange joke terry the yako and i won't put you up to this pat well somebody's having a laugh over this little prank i'm sure terry thank you so much for your time can't wait to see those deer fest cuckoos at the market Wendy will be there with her beef jerky as always, and, and <laughs> that's we'll in denial. This. So there has to be. Boxes somewhere around here, right? I just haven't found a single one. I need to find my way back. No. Oh. Game says nay. Eat lunch in this town? Um. Leon's crying. Hold on, I gotta go see if he's okay. One sec.
I'm back. Sorry about that. Funny, I think- I feel like you guys can always tell when I'm about to be back because, like, the, uh... Camera starts tracking again as I enter the room. <laughs> Is Leon okay? Yeah, he's fine. I think he was, like, absolutely desperate for the toilet, but he was, like, uh... In bed, so he was like, Mother! Mother, I wish to be! So I let him out to pee and put him back to bed. Esme, thank you for the 37 months! And Madkiff, thank you for the 36 months! The three years, thank you! You thought I went offline? <laughs> I I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing here. Hold on. Oh, drive to watery. Can I go to Cauldron Lake instead and have a look for those things? Just get PTSD whenever I leave like that. I suppose. I suppose there's not a good track record there, huh? <laughs> what are we munching on? Cheese and crackers. <laughs> okay, so a bunch is broken there. But if I take it and then go right. Wait. Oh, I need the bolt cutters. I remember. Okay, I'll come back to this then. It's very British. <laughs> I mean, I had rice and fish for breakfast. Is that better? say this in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea? Going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? <laughs> it must be true. Or else this guy can't write for shit. <laughs> The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, real funny. The page placed me in a trailer somewhere in Watery. Have I been to Watery before? Is this an is this around. a new location? I feel like it, oh Jesus. <laughs> A vote for Mayor Setter is a vote for everyone. Mayor Setter will stand up for justice. Is it just me or does Saga's accent keep changing? What? Ati? Okay then. Catchy tune. Everyone gets to sing! Jesus American is the day is Thursday, but it's not the. Oh, I get it. 
Oh, I love his audience. It's Rose from the diner. This old lady who's taking the opportunity to do her knitting. This other old lady. You like my avatar? Thank you. And this person who kind of looks like Rose again. You think these are people that worked on that game? Hmm. There's a note at the bottom. It says Lum Lumi Mert. Is this Watery's own Nessie? An anonymous source sent this photograph to our editors claiming it was captured during the last full moon. A majestic beast hidden in the depths of water or an elaborate prank? A sea creature that defies the very laws of nature or a submarine relic from the Cold War era? A lonely wanderer searching for companionship and compassion, or a fearsome monster out for blood? These questions, among others, haunt our editorial team here at the Bright Falls Record. After one of our avid readers sent in this mysterious photograph as evidence of an unidentified creature roaming watery waters and making a rare but opportune appearance, this titillating spotting might be just be the event of the year. As we dive deeper into this mystery, we here at the Bright Falls, Falls Record invite all our readers to a naming competition. What should our local beast be called? Watery Wander? Shelly the Sea Monster? Oh, Wanda, not Wander. For some reason, I was like, Wander? <laughs> Shadow the Sea Monster, send in your suggestions now. More updates and revelations to follow. One of a kind amusement. Wait, wait, Coffee World is real? One of a kind amusement park opens in Watery. I'm sure all our readers know of Ilmo Koskela, who, with the hope of his brother Yako, has been making our small town of Watery a bustling hub with his various, bu various business ventures. The latest of these, Coffee World, has its grand opening just around the corner. I had the chance to ask Ilmo a few questions about Coffee World. Ilmo, what is Coffee wo about? Coffee World about? I'm glad you asked. Coffee World is the world's greatest coffee-themed amusement park for all ages, and it's right here in our hometown of Watery. It's got all the rides, thrills, and excitement you could ask for, and of course, lots of delicious fresh coffee, both hot and iced. Put that in. How did this unique business idea come about? Well, you know I'm all about ideas. An idealist, you could say. But what's even more important to me than my many, many successful businesses is our hometown. With my help, we can revitalize Watery, build its economy back up, bring the tourists back in, and enjoy ourselves in the process, too. Coffee World is just as much for the townspeople as it is for the out-of-towners. Which attraction should the visitors be sure not to miss? Oh, that's like having to choose a favorite child. It's impossible, but the slow roaster is, of course, a wonderful ride full of mystery and magic. And the Espresso Express is sure to give you a thrill. Also, don't forget to drop by the Fresh Pot gift shop on your way out. You may no you never know what treasures you might find. Coffee, at least, I bet. Yes. The Dark Doppelganger in the Art and Life of Thomas Zane. Ooh! Starring Thomas Zane as the diver Barbara J Jagger as the Dark Presence. Cynthia Weaver as the Lady of Light, Evil Hart Emil Hartman as the assistant. Did Ati just say, it has come, he has come? You are a handsome deer. I, there has to be an achievement for petting all the deer. <laughs> I 
You said old scratch Satan our savior? Oh, fantastic. God, look at the- look at the ass atmospheric- look at the ass. Look at the atmospheric fog. And mist. It's crazy. Hey. <laughs> he looks like something someone came up with in the Dark Souls character creator. His face just caved in as he turned there. This is my strength-based, uh, character in Dark Souls 2. Mom's family was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Saunas, lakes... Seems nice. Enjoying the sauna? You bet! The steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. I've read that taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. <laughs> Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Did you think that'd work? You're the professional. Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. Bad Games Jewels, thank you for the 18 months. Thank you, thank you. Oh wait, Ati mentions going to Watery on a holiday? In control? That's cool. Oh, this game's so pretty. Hey, Seva. A sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a goner. They also say silence is golden. <laughs> Have you heard old Pat's radio show lately? Yeah, I, I, I fear he's losing his grip on reality. I don't care to listen to pointless jibber jabber. Not on the radio. Not I was about to say, why are there pistol bullets in that cupboard? And then America. So never mind. Oh, Jesus! Hot. I think I just accidentally duck! Ruined the temperature of the sauna. <gasps> Professor Strawberry! Thank you for subbing! Thank you, thank you! Da da is singing forever. The flooding is even worse here. More like underwatery. <laughs> see that one later. We gotta find Stella. Missing from Georgia last year on Thursday evening, wearing a pink collar with rose gold buckles. Answers to Stella, Stella, Luna, Looney, Luna, and Looney, Lo Looney Tune, even. That's cute. Do not feed the fish, no catch and release, cook what you catch. Hey. Hey. What did you used to say your dream job was as a kid? I bet it wasn't dock worker. I don't know about all that, but idle hands are the devil's playground, so... Well, us fishing types appreciate you all, at least. Mind giving me a hand in helping out? Uh, I'm supervising the work. <laughs> and? And it's super. Fish, fish. Hey, where's the time gone? 
Out of business. <gasps> no! No fresh fish! Watery's definitely quaint. Wait, so there's an amusement park here? Good fish here. That's a... Uh, um... I found more bullets. How's it going? Not bad. Can I go into fish store? Can't open this with my bare hands. <laughs> you can't. You can't just like force your way in there either. That's like illegal or something. Fish. Hello. Yeah, there's lots of subtle things in this Only game. So many times I can keep fixing the same hole. That like, I don't know. It just makes everything feel like a photo of real life. I guess like all the objects look so grounded. And this, it's actually like crazy. I gotta ask around about the trailer, but nobody really wants to talk. <laughs> it is real life, oh my god! Can I ask you? Hi. Still going. Hi. Can I toss you about the... No? Okay. Hey, depressed biker lady, can I ask you about the trailer? Well, they say being old is just a state of mind. I'd like to give them a piece of my mind. I see. I'm not done here yet. I wish I were done here yet. Hold on, I need some melon. Ow. Did I talk to you yet? Hey. No. <gasps> Hello. Do you have a second? Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Uh, Tor and Odin are not here. <gasps> they are uh, old tricksters always. Wait, it's off. the Valhalla nursing home! Sorry. <gasps> no, I wanted to ask you about something else. Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You've seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I oh, bring no. them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. <laughs> Thanks. Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. Yumo Koskela owns it. He owns many things in town. Is there anything that Elmo doesn't own? I saw Elmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. A trailer park is a good place to look for a trailer. <laughs> yeah. A bit simple, Saga. Sure. 
watery lighthouse trailer park. You know, Koskel owns it. He owns many things in town. I need to find Ilmo Kaskela. He said he was at the bridge, right? Where was the bridge? <laughs> Let's have a look. Downtown Watery, that's blocked off. Oh, sorry. What used to be a bridge? The blocked off area was the bridge? Okay. No, no, no prophesizing. It's illegal. <gasps> Coffee World on the next right. Oh. <gasps> Can we go to Coffee World chat? Can we? Can we? Can we? Hey, Saga! Over here! Hello! Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. Great to see you back in Watery, Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. They're finished! It's drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but, uh... Now it's gotten pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. You can't we're call them Swedes. Well, we're looking into it. Hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse trailer park, me, can help you with that. <laughs> it's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any <gasps> outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Is the horror story messing with their What memories? is going on? So what is Coffee World? You mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose. Until recently. What happened to your moose? Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. So... your commercials? They're more than commercial. I believe in my robot. Our goal you is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products you and services we provide. And uh, Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. <laughs> really. Fuck off. I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co lead, director. Do yourself a favor and uh, check them all out. Profiling may give me the answers I need. I'm going to zone out in front of these two men. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. <laughs> Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops, brother. Yako, the shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Brother. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Light's laughter and love will guide you home. 
Saga and her daughter. Live, laugh, Long love. <laughs> Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play alone for now. I need the key to that trailer. What if she's not a psychic, but she's remembering from the other timeline? Hmm. What could it all mean? Wakes says a story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. Emma on the trailer park where I supposedly <laughs> live. Rose recognized me in the diner. But I moved away after Logan died. Logan is not dead. <laughs> All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Yeah, the Good technology that they're using. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. Seems to be I like implemented you, better in this game because it doesn't walls. like the spare keys wipe out all detail in the faces. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just people on the Nvidia the subreddit were wondering if maybe easier. we can like rip some of the call files the so for like ray tracing yeah. from this game and put them into Cyberpunk so that the uh, effects are better. Ring ring. Nothing. What am I paying them for? Because they're busy. Well, after they finally pick up, we really need to get over to Bright Falls for that, uh, thing. Yep. Must be busy at the park. These are all peak hours, Yako. They're just slacking. Why does he... Sometimes he speaks with his bottom teeth protruded forward, but not all the time. It's interesting. Anyway, I'm going to Coffee World. Bye. There's Coffee World. Need to get across the river. Or I'll never get Pomeranians. They're really annoying. <laughs> what was that? What indeed? Uh oh. Hello? Oh, fuck. oh shit! Who threw that? Oh! FBI, show yourself! Oh. I think I can shoot things out of the air in this game. I haven't tried yet. Because bullets are kind of sparse. Love it. Oh shit! Getting bullied, please stop. Stop. Thank you. 
Wait, why did he split into two? <laughs> no, I don't seem to be able to unless I missed, I guess. Which I could have done. More people turning into Taken. Is this the cult? Or the story? Or both? No, they don't have a lot of health. I, I hit one of them almost to death. And then the other one showed up and I hit that one almost to death. And then I hit the first one one more time and he died. <laughs> Oops. Hmm. There's a rhyme over here. <gasps> a rhyme! The gentle beast with a beautiful crown runs through the woods with a worried frown. From the hunter he flees between the mighty trees to make it out alive. Okay, I need a deer statue. Moose, that'll do. Uh. That binder is haunted. Sure. Did I do it? One. Doesn't that usually make a box show up? I use the deer, right? <laughs> no? Hmm. Guess not. Oh, the dolls. Technically... I didn't solve any puzzles with that one yet. <laughs> I can't tell where the, the present went! Did it give me anything? Uh-oh. Because I can't interact with it anymore, so I'm guessing it's solved. I cannot see. That's your jump scare. Thank you for the 20 months. Thank you, thank you. It's too dark to figure out whether the, the present got dropped off. Oh. Hello. Did it go here? This is ridiculous. Yeah. Another charm. What is it? Good thing Logan made me this bracelet. Oh. Well, I have two now, so I guess I'll put one on here. You would have shot the moose? That's not very nice. There's <gasps> another cult stash. Oh no! I found another dead taken over by the radio tower. It looked like it was bashed to death. There was a lunchbox and some weird knitting by the corpse too. 
I took care of the body, but that's the third one this month. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. We need to find this guy and let him know the cult of the tree need, means business. Ooh. The knitting lady did it. <laughs> What had kept Watery afloat all these years? A century, if not more. The locals knew the answer. Grit. Or as they put it in the language of their Finnish forefathers, Sisu. These days, Sisu was need more than ever. The town was fading. It never quite recovered from the lumber mill shutting its doors. Now the fishing was drying up as well. Most people had left to find jobs in other towns. Only the most tenacious stubbornly remained. Dug in. Parasites in the body of a terminal patient. Sisu. Some people tried to resuscitate the town. The Koskala brothers double-handedly warded off the impending darkness with their ventures. Coffee World brought tourists, money, and jobs. Have I watched Coffee Sisu? No. For all ages. The Kalavala Knights Motorcycle Club built parade floats. The bikers repaired vehicles and volunteered locally. But it wouldn't be enough. Watery needed a miracle. The end of the road was in sight. And it was coming fast. Thank you for the eight months. Thank you. Thank you. No. Alan sleep. Ooh, a house. Every now and again, I hear the, I I hear something in the distance go brap. Is this dead by daylight? Uh, no way I didn't hit that. One generator started. Two, three. Another one of those cult boxes. If you take the crossbow out, put it back in the stash when you're done. P.S. I changed the code as asked. What did they change the code to? One, one, one. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, 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 hold on a second. Five. Ooh. Where's the last number? Seven. Why didn't I see that? That was weird. Five, two, seven. Have a gun. Hmm. Crossbow gun. Uh oh. I'm out of room. Hmm. I need to stash some stuff. But I'm not sure I ever saw the, saw the shoe boxes saga. That's helpful. Shoebox? Yeah, boy. Alright.
All I want for Christmas is you, chat. of interest. Hmm. Da, 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 da. Apparently I run way po like right past a manuscript page in there. Da, 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 da. He was looking for a store. <laughs> How dare he? Here we survive off the land or not at all. Why is the bot talking about Yoshi dildos? I don't know. Why did you teach her about them? Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. What the Koskalis had said about her living in Watery with Logan unsettled her. For the horror story to involve her was one thing, but involving her daughter was crossing the line. <laughs> Something darted across the path ahead, too fast to see. Saga drew a weapon. Her eyes searched the woods, a noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look, a local, a man on the ridge above her. No, not a man, a monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust! Okay, so if I go... Oh wait, there's more crossbow bolts there, that's nice. I'm gonna go back down the path, and then that way, and then to the right. That's like here? You don't like Alan's writing? God. Everyone's a critic. What are Yoshi dildos from? Why would I know that? She learns from what you type, not from what I say. Clear something up from our last broadcast. There was some talk, an off color joke of sorts, about Wendy Davis of Davis Family Beef Jerky being dead. Not again. Which of course, is a bunch of hogwash. Pat, are you okay? So I'm gonna give our dear friend Wendy a call so we can put an end to these silly rumors. And, oh, it looks like we already have her on a phone line. <laughs> Wendy, hello. Hi there, Pat. Ah, that, that's, that's not Wendy. No, this is Jim Figamore. Remember, we were going to do the announcement today. Oh, is that, was that today? Uh, listeners, we have Jim Figamore with us and the director of the Bright Falls Community Theater. And, and I'm here to announce that the theater will be losing one of its most dignified thespians as I, Jim Figamore, We'll be running from mayor! <laughs> Hold for applause. Well, that's uh, quite an announcement, Jim. Just let me find my notes here. I have some questions written down for you. The real question is what happened to this town. Bright Falls used to draw in thousands of tourists with its vibrant art scene and impressive bird feeders. <laughs> Sorry. What's our reputation now? Haunted Bright Falls. Spooky Bright Falls. The world is laughing at us. And now all this business with the FBI? 
we need a mayor who can turn this town's reputation around. And nobody knows more about the role of mayor than I do. I played one in the theatrical production of Fiorello, to glowing reviews by Coffee World magazine. <coughs> mayor Setter is a joke. And you know what? I hear he kills cats. There. I said it. You can't... Now, Jim... You, you can't just say me. that. <laughs> ah, I found my notes here, so... So why don't we pivot to some questions? First question, what exactly goes into that delicious beef jerky? Uh, right, so it looks like these are my questions for Wendy Davis. Is Pat Davis okay? Beef jerky. <laughs> the only jerk I care about is Mayor Setter. <laughs> Our future's at stake. Pets are being murdered. And it's time for a change. Jim Figamore for mayor. That concludes our program today. Oh, I, I actually had more to... Jim Figamore and Pat Main signing off. <laughs> Poor Pat. <gasps> A puzzle. Another rhyme. What does this one say? Three little deers ventured to Rome and found a nice place to eat and play. One little deer never came home and two of the deers cried all day. Huh. Hmm. Oh wait, the one little deer never came home maybe? Yes. Oh shit. Before you shout at me, it's necessary. Yeah, you better stay out. Huh. I really hate the noises they make. It makes me feel really bad. Not now, happy resub sound! Jim, so thank you so much for the two months. Thank you, thank you. Very kind of you. Thanks very much. How am I gonna? That'll stay there, right? If I go and store some more stuff. What if I? What if it doesn't though? I'll just take drugs. A charm. What does it do? Increases resilience against being staggered or interrupted? That sounds nice. Note I found say that there was a lunchbox up here too. Another Casey lunchbox. I lowered my rifle. Standing on the car's roof, I looked out at the carnage. The zombies had almost won, but luckily I was here. Heroes are sometimes the people we least expect them to be. 
Now that my town was finally s sorry, now my town was finally safe thanks to me. I slung the hot piece of iron over my shoulder one more time, hopefully for the last time. The townspeople cautiously emerging from their hiding places surveyed the same carnage I saw and cheered my name, and I waved and they cheered again. Now I could finally get back to my quiet, unassuming life reading books and gardening and fiber crafts and being the world's top mycology expert. <laughs> Suddenly, a hand seized my wrist. I looked into the eyes of the sweet, sensitive writer I had known since childhood. A smile spread across his beautiful, kind face, and I felt at peace for the first time since the zombies had first emerged. You did it! I knew you could! Now we can live in peace together for the rest of our days! <laughs> I see. The fuck is going on down there? Excuse me, there's a demon ritual in your park. Yes, let's go back, use the storage, put a bunch of stuff away. I would like to report that my nose still hurts. Is there like a quick store option? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can get away with just peacing out. It's almost that time. No, it's not, my confused American. Because the clocks have gone back for us. So actually, it's only 11.24 here. I like the reflections here on the water. I cannot go out. No, the UK does daylight savings. Yeah, and for some reason, we do it, like, a little bit out of sync with you guys. So for, like, two weeks at the start and two weeks at the end... I'm, like, completely off schedule with you guys. <gasps> a box. A box. A box. A box. A box. <gasps> More of those kids' lunch boxes. Hell yeah. Hi, Hero. I think a few pieces of paper from my private fanfiction project got mixed into some one of these stashes, but I don't know which ones. I posted some online and they're getting pretty good reviews, but I'd appreciate it if you didn't read them. It's a privacy thing. <laughs> Too late! <laughs> mm, not that I... No, it's, it's out of sync... By a week or two, and on one of them, we, we start before, and on one of them, we're after. I'm pretty sure. I'm 
Okay. Weapon upgrade. <sighs> Hold the fire button to draw the crossbow further for increased damage in a straighter arc. Fires two bolts before needing to be reloaded. Bolts launched into enemies will attract bullets fired near them. That's kind of hot. Honestly, all of these are nice. Hmm. One Extra damage as well. Increased reload speed would be nice. Kill enemy to restore health. They're all good. Saga realized the crossbow could hold two shots at the same time. How did she realize this? Did she not notice before? Or had the weapon changed? Oh, okay. <laughs> like in a dream. Thanks, Alan. That's not how crossbows work. It is now. Oh Jesus, that reload speed is forever. And if you interrupt the reload, you lose it. Scratch stalked through the forest, a terrifying dark presence in the night, more <laughs> sensed than seen. Darkness boiled in his skull, like a storm cloud crammed into a bottle. The woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him, directed by him, his army of darkness. His singular hey. purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head, waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy. Filling them with his purpose. The clicker. He wanted it. To make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. The clicker would push it across the final threshold. A detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. He was so close to claiming it. The Taken gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible leashes, filled with bloodlust. Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hands as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him. It called him on. Let the final deer fence commence. Thanks, Alan. Hello? Anyone here? Nope. Fresh pot they gift get shop. Did the Taken get them? Or were they turned into Taken? I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. Ilmo said the key is kept in the gift shop safe. This place is genuinely still running? It looks like horribly abandoned.
Uh, coffee World Review Notes. Pros, coffee themed names for the rides. Mildly amusing. Nice view of watery from the top of the Ferris wheel. The mascots are trying their best. What else? Okay, coffee. Cons, rickety rides. Two, creepy mood. Three, money hungry owner. Four, they killed the poor moose. Two out of five stars. <laughs> Wait, they killed the moose? No littering, no spilling, hot coffees on your hot coffee on yourself or others. We are not liable. Don't feel the wildlife. Don't pet. Mock the moose. He bites. Locked. Mm. Needs something to jimmy it open with. A list of maintenance work. Hey, the lock is jammed again. I forced it open. I forced it last time with a screwdriver, which has disappeared again. Put you back when you a use screwdriver. it. Screwdriver. Huh. Uh, entrance sign to face, claim it to turn wax sign, should be good until someone tags it again tomorrow. Blue oyster pot is stuck, won't swing, hit it with some WD-40, seems good for now. Fallen tree. Okay, later, control panel jammed, removed front with screwdriver, found a penny in there! <laughs> Question mark, exclamation mark. There even thank you for the 18 months. Thank you. Thank you. Another cold stash. Only striped cups. Hmm. And it's in a clockwise order. Okay. One? Cups! Cups! Four. How many numbers were there? Three? <laughs> seven. One, four, seven. Do not take what is not yours. <laughs> That'd stop me. Get freak, bitch. Figured all this out already. So this goes here. Coffee world. The most caffeinated place on earth. And yet, nobody's here to help me get that key. Mm. Using screwdrivers to break into gift shops isn't exactly standard procedure. Nobody gives a fuck, let's go! Scratch just needs a clicker to make his ending into reality. I sound tired? No, my nose just really hurts. Mm -hmm. 
All the toilets are out of order. Get your shit together. <laughs> It's like a weird pressure inside like my right nostril specifically. It's very, very painful. Can I actually go on the slow roaster? No. I'm also having sinus issues, so I'm gonna go ahead and blame them on you. Wait, how does that make any sense whatsoever? <laughs> Dude, this place is huge. Well, how am I supposed to be able to read that? Maka is six years old, moves, can live up to 25 years, weighs 820 pounds, largest species of deer in the world, loves to swim, they can dive 20 feet underwater, favorite drink is coffee. Maka is the only known moose with a caffeine addiction. Uh, wounded moose was taking shelter inside the fresh pot gift shop. They're limping from a leg injury. The wily moose provide proved too quick for wildlife rescue. After a long and unsuccessful chase, everyone stopped for a much needed coffee break, brewing up some of the co coffee's world's finest. The moose appeared drawn in by the delicious aroma. He allowed himself to be treated in exchange for a steaming mug of what is no now known as Maka's signature blend. <laughs> Since then, Maka the moose has become a beloved fixture of coffee world, welcoming guests from across the country, as well as personally taste testing each of our roasts to give them the Maka seal of approval. I don't know if you should be feeding animals caffeine. When you ask, Marisetta will speak. I didn't even see this. Oh, there's a healing point there. Like, there's nothing murderous around. Oh god, there's gonna be something murderous around. containers not that one but so many are empty and i'm wondering if it's like if there's a reason for it. jesus <laughs> it's, down, it's just a pot of coffee have a beautiful day <laughs> Next gen. Was that something taped to the coffee's back? Oh, was there? Jim's weird that it would let me around here if not. Oh, it's a tape recorder. <laughs> you just wanted me to go back there and set off the fucking laugh again. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
So there was like, in Alan's writing, he said that Coffee World brought tourists and who the heck is coming here for this depressing place? distracting when things are shooting me from the side. Ow. Jesus Christ. Please die. Thank you. Oh. I get anything for doing that? I guess not. Oh. Hey. <gasps> the screwdriver. Get the gift shop open. I got a screwdriver. There's also everything down here. I get down here? <laughs> you think this will do anything? <laughs> nope. Ah, I see. It's just that the revolver or the pistol is weak as shit. Gotcha. <laughs> um, okay. What does that note say? Oh, it's just a standard thing. Yeah, I'm thinking about turning the sensitivity down. Because look at this. <laughs> it's it's a little bit oversensitive. <gasps> I have a skipid. I don't know if you can get the bolts back. I can find out for you. It might be too late, though. I knew it. Where are you at, lunchbox? Where could it be? Oh. Hmm. 
Okay, I'll come back to it and find out. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Uh, controls. Wait, sensitivity. Uh, aim sensitivity. That's better. The shitter? I'm pretty sure I looked and it wasn't there. I'll check in a second. Oh, thank you for reading, Blizzard! Wait, where was she? Oh, I think she disappeared. She wasn't there. She's heckin' gone! Alright. I just ran in an entirely different direction. Hooray! from behind, but, uh... Sounds complicated. Can I get them back? I can! That sucks. <laughs> Not all of them, though. Oh, wait, no, I'm back at the start? Yeah. I do have a 4090, yes. Why don't I use the Vinesel Twitter account anymore? Because using the Vinesel Twitter account to put out alerts, all it really did was neuter engagement on my own Twitter account. So because I've used that Twitter account for years, my own Twitter account never really grew because people didn't like like the the tweets weren't coming from there. It's it's like a bad idea. It's 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 nice for cheap engagement because that particular account has a lot of followers, but if you're looking to actually, you know, have people engage with your Twitter account, you're actually doing yourself no favors by using it. <sighs> so there's an Easter egg somewhere around here. But I do not see it. Mm -mm. Oh? Yeah, if you turn off uh, ray tracing with like, for example, the 2000 and 3000 series NVIDIA cards, you're going to get over 100 frames per second on like reasonable settings. There's actually a whole guide for which settings to turn on to basically get it to like PlayStation 5 hardware level requirements. And it still looks great, so... So, those eggs are smaller, or there's less eggs, so does that mean I'm getting further away? Yeah, because that's more eggs. Hmm... Maybe it's a fairly far one. Shout out. And thank you for the 53 months. Thank you very, very much. Oh, I should probably get into the gift shop first, right? Because the lighthouse trailer park is where I'm going anyway. Oh, I love Alan Wake. It's so freaking good. 
It's one of the funniest games I've played in a while. Like, as in the humor is incredibly good. While also, cr like, creating this amazing horror-style atmosphere. Da -da 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 -da. No, I mean, Alan Wake has a lot of in common with Control. They're set in the same universe, or at least the same story. It's exactly the same dev, so I can't imagine that... If you really liked one, you'd hate the other. Oh, okay, bye. finish control because I had trouble with navigation and I was doing other stuff at the same time. Wait, Alan, you Sorry, don't want to read this one? Oh, there we go. Blend and I apologize to the customers. I'll just grab some from the back. More coffee coming right up. She suggested they ride the percolator while they waited. She passed Ilmo at the Espresso Express. Big smile, Anna. Coffee world is all smiles. Anna nodded, smiled. She smiled until her face hurt. Anna stopped walking, realized she was standing next to the Huatari well. Must have zoned out, she thought. She was about to go, but something in the well caught her eye. A shadow shifting in the dark. Anna was overcome by vertigo. The world tilted, and then she was falling down, down, down into the shaft. The darkness opened up to swallow her. <laughs> down, down, down by the river. Locked. Why did you change the damn password okay. to the safe again? I thought it was lookout, fixer, supplier. Code. Who hurt you? Why are you so paranoid? Calm down, this one's easy. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. See? Not rocket science. Hmm. Uh, you're the moose favor. Maka was doing just fine. You even got a glowing vet report in the BAM. They said it was a heart attack. I'm not blaming you. Maybe you just had a bad t ticker. No tolerance for stimulants either. We're telling kids that Maka's taking a little vacation, but I could really use your help ASAP to maintain continuity. Do you have any more in stock? Hey, Omo, heads up. Got another angry voicemail from a parent about her kid poking herself in the eye with one of the souvenir pukos. Whose grand idea was it to sell kids pa plastic knives in a coffee-themed amusement park anyway? Oh, right. It was yours! <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, Baldur's Gate 3 will take this year, but for me personally, Alan Wake is up there as well. Hmm. Yeah, there's like a, a shit ton of really good games this year. It's It's actually obnoxious. I... I'm having trouble keeping up. Tracker, lookout, and cleaner. Three jobs. I'm having trouble, like, 
Usually I already know these things, but I can't think of like where that would be. Fracker lookout cleaner. Hmm. Gotta be something I'm missing. Oh, point of interest. Harvey What's this? Staff. Oh, lost and found monsters pride operator. Remember to bring your liability forms for Tuesdays. Bring your dog to coffee world day. The photos have stickers on them. They do. Oh, this is, this will be it. The bricklage is undergo, undergo maintenance, but don't worry, we'll fix it as soon as possible. Lost and found maintenance. Ride operator, security, gift shop, janitor, caregiver, park, walk around, concession stand. Oh, was it tra tracker, lookout, cleaner? So janitor will be the last one. Security for lookout, maybe? You think tracker would be lost and found, caregiver, or park, walk around? <laughs> hmm. So, if that was the case, it'd be one, four, six. The keys to my trailer. <laughs> now to find the clicker. And the cult. Hi, Zito, how are you? Is the container in here? Oh, yep. Eating dinner? That sounds nice. What kind of bark you got? Wait, what's a smashed burger? Oh, that's neat. Smash it and cook it under a lid. Oh. What's the advantage over eating it normally? What to do if you miss the shotgun you're stuck at night and get with a pistol? Oh, I don't know actually. I guess you could go back to a save? Because the game doesn't lock you out from revisiting that area. Like, after you've killed Nightingale. 
So I'm assuming it doesn't mind if you have. Chat, where's the lunchbox here? I cannot find it. You can't go back? Like, not even... I mean, after the fight. I don't remember where the shotgun was. It seems like it's separate loadouts. Yeah, I can't remember where the shotgun was. Feels pretty bad. I'll be honest. <laughs> Jesus Christ, help, 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 help. Heal, please. Thank you. I need to hockey that. Stop throwing things at me. Help. Oh no, she's up, like under fucking. Shadowed? No. Yes. Can't tell. That's how reloading a shot. Uh, uh, sorry, a crossbow is in real life. Yes. And we all know that's super fun. <laughs> Genuinely pretty challenging in terms of how fast and mean things are. Ooh, puzzle, 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 puzzle. Yeah, boy. Give me that puzzle. An old watcher of the sea before his demise cursed the watchers that ruined his eyes, so he played a trick on the ocean deep, the waves to fight and havoc to wreak, and in doing that wrong, lost his soul's song. Okay, I'm definitely missing the statue for that one. <laughs> right? Like, what do I even have? Deer, moose, hero, wolf. Yeah, no, I need another statue. More of those rhymes. Hmm. Oh! What's this? Mother... Trickster... Wise Elder. Need to find the key. Hmm. Kind of funny, because you can put them wherever you like. Until it works. Is it a bird? Nope. Hey, need to do more than one. Let's see. Before his demise, we played a trick on the ocean deep. The waves to fight and havoc to wreak. Oh! Trickster... That's yeah. it! Wait, did the bridge just rebuild?
Was that my reward? The bridge <laughs> fucking reforming? All right. Stop. I'm imagining things, smile. Oh, I see. Okay, never mind then. <gasps> Ooh, and this opened up. This was definitely not open before. What's over here? It's wet. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. I can use this charm on my bracelet. Wait. Increases the amount of health in restored in safe havens. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. I don't know which one I want, though. Oh, Blood War, thank you for raiding. Look at that bridge. Beautiful. Yeah, Suica Game got put on the NA and European uh, eShops a little bit ago. It's very nice. Uh, yeah, the raid dance does have a minimum. Chat, come quat, where the frick is this lunchbox? I need it! <laughs> I need it! Does the map not tell me? Does it not? Hmm, no. Any point of interest is here, which is not the right one. Oh, I never went in here. Let me go in there. Yeah, I thought it would be close, but the heck, it's not. I think it might be the first one that's like a little far away because if you look, there's like a smaller stack here. And <gasps> another oh my box. god! Found it. You can do anything you put your mind to, hero, so long as you put your mind. What you put your mind to is part of the story. <laughs> Legends say this is a dwelling place, the uh, evil water spirit in the early days. Blah, blah, blah. It's only up to your mind. Or did some brother, the gruesome axe, came to light. Is there more to this well than meets the eye? Hmm. What's the scariest horror movie you've ever watched, Chuck? What hides behind the smile? Wait, didn't we see that, though? And it was just like a... Hmm. So it was like this way, right?
It's weird. Nope is the one with the spaceship, right? Or sorry, what looks like a spaceship? Da, 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 da. I didn't like that one that much. Maybe because I was annoyed because they killed off Keith David at the start. <laughs> Where was that stupid thing that talked? You... No! <laughs> you remember the cutout that scared her? Toys, welcome. It was like speaking, and you could run behind it. Yeah, it was, it was like a standee thing. It was near the percolator? Okay. Don't forget to stop by the gift shop! No, this is the wrong one. Okay, there must be one near an archway because the picture had an arch on it. I thought it was this one because this is the one it called attention to. Okay, let me just shoot it just to see. Cappuccino! Cappuccino! the game <laughs> Chat I'm sleepy so sleepy Wait, do you actually know what it looks like? <laughs> you know where it is? Because I've been... Oh, what about this one? <gasps> There's a thing! There's a thing in there! I'm gonna touch it! just watched Ghost Ship, you know, the 2002 one? Did Lima about die? She might have died. I think the mods have a way to restart her, but I don't know it. Another cult box. <gasps> Things! Stuff! Ma M and I were supposed to be on patrol last night, but he didn't show- but didn't show. Sorry, M and T were supposed to be on patrol last night, but didn't show. If anyone hears anything from them, let me know. The opening scene? Oh, of Ghost Ship? Yeah, no, it's good. I like that one. I like the mid-movie scene as well, where it kind of expands on it a little bit. I thought it was quite neat. Yeah, I can't get down there. Do you think I should just yeet a flare down there or something? Uh, 
No. <laughs> Hmm. It's still flagged as a point of interest, so I feel like there's something I can do here, but I don't know what it is. What do you mean, Lemubot is back? Oh no. You asked for her! Must be locked from the other side. No power. Boom. Must be a fuse box around here somewhere. Yeah. I haven't seen one though. I uh, just like snakes out of existence. Hold on. Go around that side. Can I go on the ride? I hope so, but I need to go find power first. <gasps> the fuse is missing. Fuck! Can't operate the ride without it. <laughs> Look for a fuse in the workshop, but the workshop is shut. Oh, I can get in from around there. You can't go in the ride without an operator present? You can't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> screwdrivers are not fuses. Do not jam screwdrivers into fuse... into fuse... hold... holdy thingies. <laughs> Look at me, I am the operator now. Oh. Would you go on a, a ride if I was the one operating it, chat? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna wait for ready for more. Am I asking you to ride me? <laughs> That's totally not what I said. Would you say that whenever you go on a ride at the fairground, you're riding the fair operator? Is is that is that how you think about it? <laughs> how many fairgrounds have you been banned from? <laughs> Open this with my bare hands. Ooh. And yeah, I am incredibly sleepy right now. <laughs> There's another lunchbox. <gasps> yeah, boy. Must be so exciting to be the story's hero. Honestly, I'm a bit jealous. I wish I could be the protagonist or something. Why is Saga here? 
Because she wants the keys to her trailer. Even though she doesn't think it's her trailer because she thinks it's something like a, a, a delusion that the townsfolk are suffering. Is Pat okay? I think he's losing it. Yeah. Gil Davis here. Hi, Gil. What a pleasant surprise. We have Gil Davis on the line from our lovely sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky. Gil, any thoughts on those crochet dog sweaters? You need to stop. <laughs> What's that? Just stop. Whatever this is you're doing, stop. Well, I'm not sure I understand, Gil. There's no such thing as Davis family beef jerky. <gasps> I don't sell beef jerky. <gasps> I never made beef jerky. I don't particularly <gasps> like beef jerky. <gasps> I'm getting crazy phone calls for jerky orders, day and night. You got confused old ladies all over this goddamn town on the hunt for imaginary beef jerky, asking for insane flavors like hickory teriyaki, which clearly <laughs> isn't a thing. If you don't sell beef jerky, then somebody needs to tell your lovely wife, Wendy, because she's out there at the market every Sunday <laughs> selling it. Pat, no. Pat. no! No! No, uh, that's, that's, that's not right. I, I just saw Wendy at the, at the market last weekend. Wendy went missing 13 years ago, Pat. <gasps> they found her body. She's dead. We're trying to make peace with that, and you're making it so much harder with all this goddamn beef jerky bullshit. No, that's, that's just not true. She's there. Every weekend, I see her there. This joke has gone far enough. Now go get Wendy on the line so we can have a laugh about this. <laughs> She's fucking dead, Pat. Stop. Gil? I think we're out of time. Uh, dog sweaters. Sunny you know, you know, thank you for the four yeah. months. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Pat Main signing off. Jesus. Pat Main's story got kind of depressing. How has Pat Main not been pulled off the air, actually? But I guess if it's a small town, maybe nobody has the power to pull him off the air. Can we do like a wellness check on Pat Main? What if Pat Main's remembering a different reality to the one everyone else is remembering? Kind of like me. Mm. Door item bolt cutters. I still need the bolt cutters. God damn it. All right. Also, this is the well, isn't it? Haunting laughter echoed up from the well. Nope. Nope. Guess I'll just hope that I get some bolt cutters soon. Shooting big soul sweaty puzzles? It might have done! Ooh, um. I'm not a crazed ferret. I'm a sleepy ferret. The page said I'd run into a cultist here. On your toes, Saga. Marisetta is not afraid of the rough questions. Okay, chat. 
It manually saved the game. <laughs> I like how there's not like this like Pavlovian reaction to me doing things like that. It's like, oh, the streamer's doing the thing. She's gonna stop. She's gonna leave us. No, streamer. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta turn off the- there we are. Oh god, I'm so bright! <laughs> Jesus. Why are you doing this to us, streamer? Why are you deliberately trying to make us sad, streamer? Oh no! <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so, so sorry. But I will be back, do not worry. Um, if I'm not too eepy, I will do a bonus stream tomorrow to make up for the fact that I wasn't live yesterday. If I am very sleepy, I will just take it easy and go back to normal schedule uh, for the rest of the week. But either way, I will see you guys very soon, do not worry. Oh good, she's still alive. Oh no, ending voice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll be back soon. Don't worry. Don't worry. It was an absolute pleasure streaming video games for you. I love Ellen Wake so much and I'm just super, super happy to be able to share it with you guys. Um, if you would like information on when I'm live, please either follow the channel or check out my socials. If you would like... Shut up, Limebot. Access to the archives and the highlights, please go check out my YouTube. For now, I'm going to send you over to one of my friends and today that is going to be... Send you guys over to Hackerling because, like, so many other people are playing Alan Wake. Please say hi to Hackerling for me. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a great time. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs>